Okay, now I think everything's working. Oh my god. See, this is what I get for complimenting myself. I complimented the stream, I complimented my equipment for working so well, and at that very moment, it out on me. Like, that's ridiculous. That is... See, it hit you. Like, I swear, it's out to get me. Every time that I will never be complimenting you again, equipment. <laughs> you will just have to receive my, um... My, uh, my, what is it, my warm gaze, my warm glances for that one, because I will never again <laughs> be saying it out loud <laughs> how much I appreciate you. Because you seem to want to, you know, you know, want to mess with my life every time. Because I don't know if you guys could hear the game audio, but I couldn't hear the game audio. Well, I couldn't go anywhere if I wanted to. I'm just going to go through these. Um, right quick. Ugh. But how are you guys doing today? <laughs> you know, let's just, you know, let's restart, restart. How are you guys doing this lovely Saturday? You doing good? You guys got any plans? Uh, for how was your forte still a question mark? How was that still a thing? Oh, it's because he thinks that's her ability. That's why I didn't say question mark at the end. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Um, the only one's updated is these two. Likes, fucking throws, <laughs> dislikes. Oh, what, what has changed though? Intelligent freaking Pikachu over here. Likes cats and dogs, dislikes cruel Connors. Uh, master detective for the post cognition. Wait, there's more. Oh, this dude, this guy. Oh, we get his. Likes wind instruments, dislikes untuned instruments, title peacekeeper, investigative team, section chief man. Can you just see? That I feel like there's a way to shorten that title because damn, that's long. Talent is chess. Section chief of Asimura Corporation Peacekeepers Investigations Team. A mumbling, unhealthy looking man with decidedly nervous demeanor. His words are polite, but any underling that makes a mistake is brutally rebuked. He haptually speaks through a megaphone to make up for his feeble voice. Is that. There's more? Who have I not gotten? Oh. These people. Like, we're just gonna click them. Okay, so we gotta make our suspect list. Um, and obviously, it would be too easy if the dad was actually the killer. Like, there's no way. But he's kinda got a sketchy um, alibi. If anyone was to say that, oh, he was going all night, I don't know where he was, or I can't account for it, it's just, you know, that's sketchy. Where were you all night? But the, the son is just like, hey, that's his job. He goes away all night and sometimes all day. Like, that's just what he does. Because he goes around and fixes clocks and other machinery all day. So, to him, that wasn't unusual. So, I don't think it's him. If it, is, if it is him, wow. But I don't think so. Because I think it's tough from this picture. He has a very meaty build. He's a very big dude. And from the ways that we saw that the culprit could leave all the crime scenes, they're all very... Uh, body-defined spaces. Like, only a very skinny person. You know, skinny or small like a child <laughs> could get through. So yes, I'm more suspect of the boy than I... Oh my god, that was my computer. I'm more suspect of the boy than I would be of him because 
we trust no one in this game, okay? There, there is betrayal from like the get-go. Just betrayal after betrayal after betrayal. So for right now, we're gonna say he, he, he he's X. If I could X him out, <laughs> I would. But I don't think it's him. Um, the boy's a suspect. She's a suspect. Um, like all these church people are suspects. Like. I suspect these two more. Not, not, oh, jeez. I suspect worshiper and the nun more out of all the church worshippers. Or out of all the church people. Because this dude just seems kind of concerned, and this one just seems like he's not even there in the head. So. So. And plus, again, he has that meaty build, so there's no way it could have been him. And if he did, my god, he was sucking it in. <laughs> But, um, sorry, my phone keeps going off. Of course it wants to go off now. But yeah, those are my, those are my suspects. Those are the people I'm most suspicious of. All right, and then we were at the mansion about to do the second investigation of, of a past, um, a past murder. So let's just kind of do everything in like normal view. For now. That's true. There's a fish in the tank, yeah. It doesn't seem like they've been cared for since the owner was killed. They're looking pretty bad. Inside the tank, some kind of secret passage? Yeah. It would be interesting. It doesn't appear to be related to the case. Uh, anything else here? Director. That's right! There's a projector installed in the center of the bookcase. I'd like to take a look, but I can't reach. That's right! Um, Halara, could you please take a look around the projector? Very sure. well. Sure. Give me a moment. The projector is pretty dusty, but it doesn't, but doesn't seem to have been used since before the incident. So it's probably got nothing to do with the case. Now I'm suspicious of it just because you said that. Secret passage? Oh, it turns that on. Which is kind of cool. That means it's kind of linked to the wall. Yeah. It's a lamp. The light's on right now. It's Make sure to use proper lighting in addition to these kinds of light as actually may occur. Who are you talking to? <laughs> exactly. I was like, she's breaking the fourth wall right now. She's like, be careful of lighting, because that could leave the eye strange. She's like, who are you talking to? <laughs> now, did that project? Oh, God. Okay. Check the painting. You know what? For that, we're going to caution on this. So you gotta do it in the other mode. The crime scene of the murder is vividly brought to life before us. It all happens in silence, as though awakening from an eternal slumber. She is right in the chest, like... And look, they're all been strangled before. So these people were all dead before they got nailed into the floor or into wall. But the corpse will never wake up again. Even if the corpse did awaken, the nails pinning him down would prevent him from rising. The door is the only entrance and exit to the room. There are no windows and the vent is small. I don't see any escape routes from the locked room. Maybe the doll nailed to the wall holds the answer to this bizarre mystery. Hmm. Oh! I thought Shingo was going to cut uh, cut him off in his uh, inner monologue because he's always having these like internal like, oh! moments. The lamp light is pointing to the tape. This probably wasn't turned on at the time. Hmm. I, don't, I don't see anything suspicious. Does it seem like the lamp is related uh, to the case? Uh, There's a switch from the projector to the desk. Looks 
just like it was such an awesome torture sound. Uh, There's a huge tank here, but there, but there aren't any fish inside. Hmm. Living things can be seen through the post cop mission. It doesn't have them. Oh, I thought it meant something, but it, she's like, living things can't be seen here. So that's another flaw in her post-cognition. If something is alive and it's still alive even in space, like she can't see it. Uh, the projection is installed the same bookcase. It wasn't on when the corpse was found. I'm You'll never reach it, Master. I'll check it out for you. Well, could you find anything unusual? Nope, everything's extremely unusual. I'm gonna to the case. I thought Laura was gonna comment on the fact that we just talked out loud. There's a vent, but it's too small for a person to fit through. Mm. And it's also screwed shut from the inside. It seems impossible to remove. Oh, what's this now? Master, I discovered something! There are marks in the gap between the fence, like something scraped against it! Really? But, given your height, you couldn't see it even if you stood on a chair. Halara, can you use that chair to peek into the vent? I will do so for 10,000 shen. God dang! You're charging me for it? I just... Well, I thought she was serious. Hmm. The marks in the vent seem to be left by strings rubbing against it. Hmm. There's a sex... So I'm trying to figure out how they got through this vent while leaving it perfectly intact. Hmm. Because I feel like we're going to have to explain every escape route for every case. And this one's going to be tricky. Strings were involved. And I'm trying to use my imagination of how this happened. Now, if they really did slip through this without the great there, they are small, small. <laughs> they are either, I'm telling you, really, really skinny or really small. So all my small skinny people in my suspect list, mm, I'm eyeing you really well right now. Did someone hitch a string to it or something? It shouldn't even be visible from your perspective. I'm surprised you noticed. Oh, uh, it was just a hunch. Just say you're, you're being very, very thorough. That's all. See, I told you I'm useful. I do way more than just float around. You should give me 10,000 shien as a reward. I'm kidding, a headache. Dear. The vent is too small for a person to enter or exit from. There's evidence that a string or something similar to against the gap. Now, I'm gonna guess. I don't know how they would do this, but I'm gonna take a guess of what how this happened. Because I'm really using my brain here. What if what if they tied the the string to the vent um, or something like that and then they pulled it like after them. I don't know if they looked to see if it was screwed or not after, but if that's the case it's kind of uh, smart, but I'm kind of going off that line. I feel like it was like used to like move the, uh, the, the grating here. So that way they can just kind of put it back in place. Anything? 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 No. The door here can only be unlocked with a key. However, there is only the master key. 
no spares exist. The scenario resembles a locked room mystery in the casino. We can disregard the possibility of a duplicate key. The master key was found in this room at the time of discovery. And this is also similar to the locked room mystery in the secret club. But there is one difference. The key was found underneath the corpse. What? The key was found underneath, okay. So how are these keys? Okay, so the culprit must be placing the keys here. They, they have to be. Because obviously the person in question is already dead because they get nailed into the wall or to the floor or wherever. And we found a key in a glass just there, and we found another key in under the corpse. So that must mean the culprit is placing the shit here and not making it super obvious where the keys are. And knowing how lazy these peacekeepers are, they really don't care. Under the corpse? But we can't move the corpse in the past, so we can't confirm if that's true. Poe's cognition isn't all powerful, but it's a fact that the key was found under the corpse. I have a crime scene photo taken back then in my jacket pocket. No detail has slipped past my efforts. Right. It's a kitty! <laughs> kitty! Huh? What's this? Oh, she's got a soft side. Hello, Static! Hi! How are you doing? Welcome to the stream! I'm stopping to say hi, I'm afraid. Oh, you can't stay long? Oh, okay. Well, thanks for uh, stopping by then. Much appreciated. Wait, not that one. I meant the other photo. This one's unrelated to the case. Aw, oh, she's got a soft side. Oh, this is it. You're right. The key's near the middle of his back. But can this photo be trusted? Could it be something the peacekeepers fabricated? The peacekeepers acknowledge the incident occurred in a locked room. Besides, there's no need for fabrication. After all, it would be more convenient for them to have fewer mysteries to deal with. Um, that's true. That's true. Sorry for being doubtful. No, that's expected of a detective. You're starting to figure out how to do your job. She, you can tell she's she's like, uh, spiritually kind of giving him head pats right here. She's like, good job, good job. Was that a compliment? So that's really all it takes to please you? Yes. Also, I drew a sketch of the room state on the back of that photo. Remember it well. Yeah, okay. Oh, this must be all the doll scatter. I was like, what? Where are all the triangles? But why a sketch? How can it help solve the mystery? Also... What was with that cat photo anyway? That's surprisingly cute. <laughs> he wants to ask. Don't ask. She's too prideful to let you know. You ain't close enough yet. The key to the mansion study. There are no copies of this master key. The mansion's floor plan and photo of the long-term mystery. Both were seen from Polara. Yeah, because this is a full check mark right here. Which means there's still something right here. This is a study. We left it open just in case. Hmm. It's always good to be wary of sudden attacks. Never let your guard down. Right, got it. I feel like all these people that we're with are all going to be mentors for Yuma, and he's going to just use all their powers and knowledge combined to become like the ultimate detective here. I'll. It's because of teachings of yours, truly. You're welcome, Master. 
Okay, there we go. There's a check mark. Uh, I hope these books are lined up so neatly. Hmm. They're covered in dust. Nobody's touched them for a long time. Meaning they won't help us with the case? I don't assume. There's nothing else here? Okay. Oh. Hmm. Oh, because I didn't do it in the other thing, Bob, that's why. See, that's why I said don't assume. Yeah. Even in the past, several books lined the shelf. I checked, but it doesn't seem like anything's different between then and now. I see. In that case, it's probably not related to the case. But some of these books have moved. Now, it could be just being... Yeah, well... The thing about this is, though, these say that they've been moved. But if this entire mansion was closed off, they shouldn't have moved. Alright, I guess it means nothing, according to the game. Only one doll nailed to the wall. Comparatively, there was a nearly obnoxious number of dolls nailed to the walls in the other crime scenes. Maybe there was no room to nail them to the walls because of all the bookshelves in the way? Wait, this doll has both eyes gouged out. I wasn't really paying attention to the creepy dolls, but did the other dolls have eyes? I do this on purpose? This keeps getting more and more disturbing. But it's kind of creepy cute. I want to put one next to the top of a staircase so people can run into it at night. Oh, my yeah. <laughs> that would, I know that would freak me out. I'll be like, mm. <laughs> Uh, why would you want to do that? You know, this doll seems made of cheaper materials compared to the other ones. Hey, you're right. Like it's made of resin instead of porcelain. The texture looks cheap, but also more durable. Too bad it doesn't have eyeballs. The eye holes are connected to each other in the head cavity. It's like that darkness is staring into me. Huh? There's a mark on the edge of the eye holes near the nose. It looks like a string rubbed against it. How did this mark get here? It definitely got here from the string, but I'm, I'm really trying to figure out how this all went down. This this one's more strange than the other ones, because I feel like I've kind of figured out how it happened, but, but this one just seems more complex. This doll is made of resin, not porcelain. It looks like a thin string rubbed against the inner corners of us. And I think it was made cheaper on purpose so that whatever he, the cup was doing with the doll, it wouldn't like break. Because porcelain is like kind of like close to glass. If you like drop it on the floor or something, it's gonna crack or something. Yeah, so I looked at the other um, dolls, and oh, yeah, they all had eyes except for that one. What? What about it? That's true. This is where the first was. I can't read. This is where the first witness found the body. The blessings are still here. Considering the amount of blood, the victim was probably killed here, right? It appears. It seems very likely. Anything else? Anything else? No? The cause of death here appears to be strangulation as well. 
And like the others, there are rope marks around the neck and traces of a struggle. Oh, but on a closer look... There's a mark left by a thin string on the back of his neck! Hmm. So his is slightly different. It couldn't have been the rope that was used to strangle him. The thickness is completely different. There are two different types of string marks in the body. Was he strangled twice? Mm. Because obviously the thicker one is like the one that he was scratching against. But this one, I'm trying to figure out what was the second string for us. So I don't think he was strangled twice because there would have been no point. But he could have been used to be like lifted or hung somewhere. This one... Okay, the mansion one is way more complicated than the clock tower and the freaking casino. Uh, I'm really, I'm going to be sweating when it comes to figuring out this one. But even then, it'd be odd to only have marks behind his neck. And why do the strings have different thicknesses? Anyway, it's an important piece of evidence. There are rope marks caused by strangulation and wounds from resisting. There are also string marks on the back of the victim's neck. The victim is a well-built man, approximately 30 years old. The corpse here is also covered in nails. His appendages and chest are all nailed to the floor. The owner of this mansion made his fortune in real estate from an early age. But along with aggressive land sharking and other illicit transactions, he made shady deals with Amaterasu. There are several reasons he'd be hated. A doll with his name on it was bound to be nailed in the church forest. I wonder how the person who cursed him feels now that he's actually dead. Perhaps they feel no responsibility. They just hopped on the urban legend bandwagon. Is that really the case? Wait, well, this is odd. What's odd? I'm, not, I'm looking for it. I'm, I'm staring. Hmm? Did you find something? Look closely. The length of the nails driven into the corpse are all slightly different. I would just think that's because of you know, nail getting too floor through body, you know what I'm saying? The length isn't the problem here. It's how hard they were hammered in. What do you mean? The nails driven into the lower torso went through the body and into the floor. Okay. But the nails in the upper torso did not penetrate all the way through the body. Yeah, why is that? I just thought maybe they weren't long enough or maybe they weren't strong enough but why would the culprit not hammer the nails in his heart on the upper body that's not the only unnatural thing take a look at the blood the nail wounds on the lower torso appear to be bleeding sideways But the upper torso wounds are bleeding vertically down the his mm. waist. So could that mean the person was trying? Okay, maybe. Maybe they were they originally supposed to be hammered into the wall, and as they were trying it, they figured that that wasn't working because of maybe height or strength or something like that. And th so they said, fuck it, you're going on to the freaking floor, and then just continue on what they were doing. The blood flows differently between the upper and lower body? And since they already had nails in the upper torso, they didn't really care to, like, keep hammering in. Maybe the upper and lower torsos are different people, and they were smushed together after death. What? What kind of theory is that? That's disturbing. It, I mean, it would be disturbing if it was true. Like, literally, this was just two people cut in half and just it made it look like one person.
The blood from the nail stuck in the upper and lower body of the curve seems to be flowing in different directions. I think that's everything. Looks like there's nothing left to check. I'm, I'm so nervous. No, yeah, because you said there's nothing left to check, but there's still more to check. So why do you say- I'm telling you, that little function is going to get me fucked up. It's going to get me fucked up. Oh! Landscape paintings in extravagant frames are on display. All these paintings look incredibly expensive. However... They're counterfeits. Not a single thing is genuine. Doesn't look like there's anything relevant to the case here. Let's investigate elsewhere. It's uh. carefully organized bookshelf. Looks like all the novels belong to the same series. The Going Saga? Yeah. I believe this series has been more than 150 volumes. Unfortunately, the author has passed away. It's a shame the story you never saw it as an ending. Aww. It's one of those. It's like, you'll never know the ending. You'll never know how it ends because they, they're not around to write it. I feel- oh. Let's see if I'm right or not. See, look, there's more shit. What, what was that? Oh. There's like so much more. Why are you saying end investigation where there's more to click on? See, I'm telling you that Funky is trying to fuck me up. Hmm? Two extraordinary thick books are placed on the desk. It doesn't look like the books were stacked when the body was found. Wow. These kids were not stacked in good grief. What a bunch of amateurs. The placement seems to be the only thing that changed. I doubt this will help with the case. A series of books arranged neatly on the shelf. There's no indication the books have been moved. I don't think they're related to the case. Mm -hmm. I agree. Let's look elsewhere. Oh! Several dolls have been nailed to the floor. After the plot are in the secret club, this makes three. It doesn't make it any less creepy, though. It's now is not the time to show fear. Let's see thoroughly how we can solve this case. We're right. The dolls see. have nothing in common, and I don't see any unusual markings either. It, it appears. Case, then. What does that mean? There's an expensive looking landscape painting, but it's tilted. I wonder why. Could this be related to the locked room? It Doubt appears. Me. Judging by the marks on the wall, I see this painting is hung on an angle. The piece here must have altered it by a mistake during the investigation. How do you know that? Well, it was nothing for the case, but I did get more sweet points to be used for later. Anything else? Anything else? Really looking here. Alright. Sit down, we're right here. Wait, why is this still. Oh, I didn't click on this. Oh! I actually already respect Oh, wait, I feel like I've read this before. It's me. Oh, okay, I did read this before. He probably wanted to seem knowledgeable. They haven't been me for a while. They're probably not related to the case. Yep, more no points. And now there's a check. Okay, now there's a check mark. So for now, the game is kind of so like, how thoroughly are you going to check everything? Because I could have just pressed B and missed all 50 of those points. Now we've gathered enough evidence. Though it appears complicated at first glance, the answer is simple. Huh? Uh, Holara, did you already solve the locked room mystery? What? You haven't? Oh my god, why is she looking at me like that? <laughs> she looked like we are beneath her, like, huh? There's no way to solve it with what we have. How is the room locked? 
It's unfit for one detective to ask another that question. For the sake of your own pride, you must figure it out. Unless you'd like to hire me to do it for you, it won't come No, <laughs> no, we're already five million in debt. <laughs> like, I'll figure it out myself. It's really all about the money with Halara. The longer I'm with Halara, the deeper into debt I'll get. It's starting to scare me. Yeah, you better be in debt for the rest of your life at this at this rate. Now, let us be swift. Next up is our last crime scene. Yep. But wait! But I feel like we're going to revisit the clock tower because I still think there were things that he missed because he sucks. <laughs> Wait, before I go that way, is there like anything else besides that? Whoa! Blech. <laughs> yeah, even she's like, uh, I don't know what that is. So this mansion is haunted. There is a crying baby ghost in here. I want to see if any of these doors open, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Can I... Say! The owner's not around anymore, but there's a bunch of... What? There's a bunch just hanging around. The statue wouldn't sell it. <sighs> I'm tempted not a thief. Sofa and lobby? What's it intended for? Well, it's probably just a staticism, right? Can I go up here? No, can't. Aww. Anymore. You the know. doorknob is in a rough shape. I guess it's because nobody's looking after the police anymore. By the way, is it because. <laughs> is it because Lara smashed it? I guess we can't roll that out. The next one is the art gallery in Gima District. We're running low on time, so we must hurry. Right. The chief's in danger after all. I feel like we're gonna revisit the clock tower. I really feel like we are. Now, are they new shinies? Shiny? These weeds are getting out of control. It doesn't look like anybody's been taking care of this place. Well... Nobody left to take care of that stuff since the incident. Ah, I need more of these sweet, sweet points. Jenny? 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 Ah. And I already thoroughly checked this, um... Yeah, if I go any farther, I'm gonna go to the next town. What are you, like... See, it must have been something I've already clicked on because I can't see it. Hmm. So, oh, there. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's a side mission. Um, so I'm gonna go here right quick. Cause there's some place else I want to go that I don't think I looked over properly <laughs> and that is the hotel jade cones apron a work apron made by camera manufactured white cross the pockets are durable enough to hold heavy objects without losing shape if i can find the hotel, hotel. is it right here maybe yes it is okay oh i see y'all gone now Nobody's e oh wait, you're not gone. Oh, I thought you were. My bad. That's nice. 
I wish she was Rika existed in real life. I'd, I'd wear the thing every. I know. Bet money for the next uh, anime convention where this, someone is going to be wearing this outfit. <laughs> Someone's be wearing this outfit and they'll be like, hey, we're selling these raincoats at $4.99. <laughs> That'd be a cheap raincoat. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, but I'm still soaking in what I just read. I need to pull the world to the up the story. Also, welcome back, by the way. Right. It's a vital part of the process. All right. I think he'll be in B A Y O. See, look, they're gone now. Oh, you ate your food, huh? Well, I don't think there's anything else. At least in this room. Because I remember in the last stream I did like a thorough run of going just running around Company District. But then I remembered I didn't talk to everybody in, well, didn't talk in, or interrupt everything in the hotel. So. What the? Were you standing there the whole time? Man, I, I see, see how I'm overlooking things. Clay! Oh wait, y'all just moved here, man. I just really just just overlooked both of y'all. Uh. This rain really never stops, huh? I finally got my hair the way I like it, and it's already wet. Uh, um, I'm getting back to the nailman incident. Sorry, rookie. I gotta start all over again with my two. Get back to me later. He cares more about his hair than a case. All right. What do you got to say? You did it! I embarked on an adventure in the neighboring Ginma district. It was so much fun finding dragon fossils. That uh, sounds uh, nice. Uh, um, Chief Yako is in trouble right now, so... I well, love it. Part of the adventure in my diary. I apologize, Yuma, but that other man will have to wait. Wow! <laughs> they said, "Fuck the chief." <laughs> right. Anything right here? No. Anything right? Oh wait. Eh. I can't go right here. Why is there an invisible wall like right here? If you look closely at the flower, you can tell it's aesthetic. Oh! The custom ring keeps someone out, so, so growing real flowers is no go, right? That's kind of weak. Uh, the iron coffin. Find the secret of the toys. Okay. Listen, uh, Max of World, Kanye's highest. What? Kanye was highest welcome? Going against it with the big guy, this this won't fit in the mail. Secret peak patrolling, going home because I'm scared. <laughs> what are with these hints? What the what? Let's be in front of the fountain a have I seen a fountain yet? A shat shattered home. Um one time in business district, yellow car and statue line. I don't think I've seen that yet. Treasure of the construction site. Very bad city, very bad cars floating peacefully beyond the red brick. What is with these hints? What is with these hints? What in the world? Oh my god. Okay. I don't see any dwarves. I've interacted with everyone here so let's go to the side mission because i don't want to continue with the mission and find out later that this thing disappears that's gonna suck mm. 
and stockings. Is it gonna show me where he is? I guess I just have to like venture around. Yeah, because not really that many people are allowed out. <laughs> that car has been so awesome, no one's coming or going except for you, Master. <sighs> I never imagined it would be like this. Are you... Bob said you were here. Is he like inside the station or something? Oh my god. Is it you? No. Is this a step ladder or a regular ladder? Stop oh, right there, on. Master! Any further and you'll stop being a detective altogether! <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, so I can go inside the station. Okay, noted. I thought I could only be outside of it. I didn't know I could go inside of it. For a bank, do you two polluted waters? Fish are rarely caught. Oh, dang, the waters polluted is rarely fish? I didn't know I could go inside. I thought it was just I can only be outside. Okay, so he is in here. Hmm? If no one's coming, you're gonna put all. If no one's coming, going why all the construction? Um, um, what kind of construction is being done? That sounds difficult. Is there anything more? Oh, shiny! Thank you. Thank you for that. What did I unlock? Not you. Not you. Not you. Not you. Not you. Wait. Wait, it was you! But why isn't there like a second one or, or a third? This is, this is bullshit. Wait, does, does it unlock per chapter or something like that? And depending on how many you have, will like decide how many will unlock? Hmm. Because they like, there's three, what, three, four, five. There's five, so you would think for each one you would unlock like volume three. Or maybe it'll unlock after I do volume two. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Like, maybe I have to watch them in order. Okay, if that's if we're gonna we're gonna see. We're gonna do we're gonna test this theory out right now. We're gonna watch this memory. One hour later. Back. Huh? What happened? Oh, Yuma. I'm done for. Seriously, what happened? Well, 
watch it not be anything that serious. Desuhiko and Halara got into a fight while gambling. Okay, maybe that's serious. You know how stubborn those two are. I tried to calm them down, but things got out of hand. I didn't know what to do. But then, Fubuki showed up. And she started shouting for them to quit fighting. She jumped right in. And things just descended into chaos. I think I get the picture. She doesn't seem like the fighting type, so I'm actually surprised that she jumped into that. In the end, those two made up just so they wouldn't have to deal with this situation. <laughs> He's like, we don't want to deal with this anymore. We'll stop fighting. They all never listen to a thing I say. I'm not sure I could lead these monsters. Maybe I'm not cut out to be boss here. That's not true. You're doing great, Chief. <laughs> Me? Great? What have I done that's great? What? what Well... <laughs> He's like, oh, I have to think, but let's see. His ability to put smiles on faces. A -a anyway, you're great. <laughs> we don't gotta lie here. I mean, now, in your defense, Yuma, you did, you did just meet the man. You don't know that much about him. Um... His photo puts... You know what? Let's let's go with this one. And, and you're great. Ah, you're great. Don't worry about it. <laughs> anyway, you're great. What? What do you mean? I don't have the right words, but I think you're great in your own way, Chief. <laughs> Sounds a bit forced. Still, thanks. All I needed was a good laugh to feel better about everything. I wonder if there's a wrong way to go about these memories. Like, like you know what I'm saying? Like, what if you don't get the right answer and you have to, like, do the memory again? And, and then there's, like, a mysterious, like, sixth memory and you have to, like, get all of the, all them right to get that sixth memory. Maybe, I don't know. Well then, I'll continue being the boss for now. Or maybe you don't get that like special item from a character because you didn't say the right thing every single time. It looks like he finally cheered up. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, that reminds me. There's something I want to ask you. What's up? It's about my memories. At this rate, I worry I won't remember anything. So I was hoping we could make, like, a mission plan, or at least a list of things I could try, to jog my memory. Yeah, I'm sorry to say, but handling stuff like that is way out of my league. Yeah. Huh? Never mind that. Feeling down got me hungry. Hey, did you buy a meat bun for me? I hope you didn't forget the mustard. I thought he was about to ask me cooking. Has it? Have you not learned? from the last time? Was that near-death experience not enough for you? Who puts mustard I on a meat he's bun? That person, but still. I mean, I don't think I've ever eaten a meat bun, but do you put mustard on them? Do you put any type of sauce on a meat... On a, on a meat bun? Hmm. I don't know. Do you guys know? Oh, you gotta go? Hope, uh, hope you have the good rest of the day. Oh, I hope you do too! Hope you enjoy your Saturday. Maybe he really isn't fit to be in charge. <laughs> Don't tell him that out loud. Don't say that out loud. <laughs> Master, you and Yako seem to have grown even closer together. Gallery, kind of station. He's freaking. Wait, what is that? That was a new one. Uh, a meat bun shop in Com City District, relatively new compared to the other shops. They're struggling to attract. Ah. Oh. <laughs> okay, so it does unlock after you do that. Remember, you the game is forcing me to do it in order. Okay. Because I was about to be a bit upset <laughs> if I get all of them to get all five. Or they released by a uh, chapter. Oh man, but they, uh, 
I'm sorry, I thought I was getting the hiccups. Maybe it was a false alarm. Looks like uh, the ticket gate. Master, Master, look! There's a bunch of pieces over there by the platform. I guess they're hand in security. I better keep our distance. <laughs> He's like, you see how all these like workers are just scared? They're just like, Ugh. I'm trying to talk to everything. Everything and everyone. So I make sure I didn't miss anything. Huh? It's really a huge crate. What could be in there? There's well? no upstairs seal either. Maybe it's just abandoned cargo. Completely uh, navy blue suit. Could this be the merchant girl's father? Hmm? Is the man with the plant suitor? Hmm? I bet he is. He even looks evil. No. I can't even tell just from appearances. Anyway, let's try and talk with them. Um. I excuse me. Hmm? Who are you? If you don't mind, we're in the middle of an important conversation. Uh. I have a letter for you from your daughter. What did you say? You know my daughter's whereabouts? Yes, well? would you please read the letter first? You're not actually listening to this guy, are you, sir? I'll see for myself. This is without a doubt her handwriting. There must be some kind of mistake. I never mistake my daughter's handwriting. I'm afraid that if what's written here is true, this marriage cannot be allowed to continue. Ugh, and I almost got away with it too. If it wasn't for huh? you, <laughs> if it wasn't for you and uh, <laughs> if it was, oh my God, what is, I'm forgetting it. <laughs> if it wasn't for you meddling kids and your dumb dog. <laughs> That's what I really feel like. And he's not even trying to hide it. He sounds like some second-rate cartoon villain. No point in playing pretend anymore. A scam's over the moment they start to doubt you. Later, chunks. Dang. Hey, Whoa. wait! There's no need to follow him. Thank you for delivering this letter. Ah, uh, no. it was nothing. I'll try talking to my dad. Allow me to properly thank you in another day. Sure. Yes. Let's go to the client. Okay, so we did that. He really did sound like he just got caught in a Scooby-Doo episode just now. Oh, Drone Bella. Uh, freaking loading screens. And that's I don't what think happened. you'll have to worry about that arranged marriage anymore. Really? If my father actually believes me? I think I'll go home now. Thank you so much for everything. I hope it goes well. Mm. Well? We did our part. Who cares what happens next? Oh my god. No. We're involved now, so I'd like for her to be happy. Oh, uh, I get it. That must be the, w the way of the soup. <laughs> <sighs> Why do you keep calling me that? The way of the simp. Oh, I got a hundred points from that. Nice. Rank 13. Uh, this. Oh. The way of this sin. Metal Fox, the religion practice in the Church of Kanye War. Its symbol is a spear piercing crescent moon. Its core doctrine is thou shall not bear old prejudices. Okay. A meat bun. Ah, oh, well, let me read the meat bun. God dang it. It's always when I'm reading it that it goes by fast. I kind of wish they would like make me get run over. <laughs> 
Just so I could see it. See what would happen. Wait, am I on the wrong side of the street? I was literally on the right side. Oh my god. So. Okay, I thought I saw something. I thought I saw a shiny. That's why I was just like, oh. but no, it's not the case. I think I clicked on this one already, but just to make sure. Okay, I didn't get anything out of that. Wow! I get it. Yeah, I've done this one. What about this one? I don't know if it's the same or not. Is this a set of swords, Brett? It really is cool. Yeah, that's right. We should, we should definitely bring a Tyrannosaurus along with the for the boss fight. What are you talking about, Shiga? I feel like she's hinting on how this next one's gonna go. Because if we're riding a dinosaur, the next one, oh my god. <laughs> so this is the art gallery. Closed due to special circumstances. The murder occurred only about a month ago. But I'm certain the crime scene has been cleaned up like the others. Not that it matters to me. But wait! It's not a good idea to break into the art gallery! Look how my sheep does not give a fuck. Hmm? Did you say something? <laughs> That's our hello! The crime scene is deep inside the art gallery. It's one of many storage rooms. Come, I won't allow time to be wasted. W wait, please! She does not care. <laughs> he says, instead of going to bring an art gallery. Did you say something? No, no, we didn't. We didn't say anything. Oh! This seems like a, the door's locked. Well? There are prices works all over the place. Of course the door's gonna be locked. Okay, I thought it was gonna be like cause the moment I got near her, but... Ah. Uh, what is it? Where do you think you're going? The crime scene is this way. Oh, right, sorry. Sorry. Okay, so it's not gonna allow me to redo this. Got it. Is this the storage room where the crime scene took place? It's locked. We're going in. Jeez. We're going in. We're like a couple of thugs or something. Oh my god, look at some of these paintings. One of them was a screaming man. Is the first on the scene the person from the church again? As expected, it's the same worshipper. He said he was trailing the victim after finding a doll with the same name. He saw the victim enter the building late at night. He then searched the premises with the art gallery staff. When they opened this storage room, they discovered the victim's corpse. The door was locked at the time of discovery, and the key was found inside. Oh, another locked room mystery! That's more total! But I'm starting to get bored. It's not so special anymore. What do you mean special? People have died. Let's start investigating. Yes. Okay, the first thing I want to see is what the possible escape route was. Maybe. It's never the door. Is it this? Oh, this is a small oh, ass. For you? <laughs> this is a small ass window. <laughs> and it, there's only one. There's only one window at this entire room. Jeez. Is it anymore? 
Nope. Okay. The only way in or out of here besides the door is this window. The window juts out and is used as a vent. It doesn't appear big enough for someone to move through. Currently, it opens outward slightly, but... It's even smaller than... Oh my... It's even smaller than... Than I thought. No way. It... His... Look, he could... He couldn't even fit in that. Like... No. How small is this person? There are no other suspicious traces on it. It seems impossible to enter or exit through here. Post-cognition reveals the crime scene in slightly faded colors. The room looked vaguely hazy in my eyes, even with the rows of vivid paintings within the art gallery. The smell of paint oil that permeated the room wasn't that of the past, but the present. If even the smells from the past could be recreated, the stench of the corpse would be much more overwhelming. the painting of the so this one's different this one isn't dolls this one is paintings I'm oh I know this he's one of those edgelord protagonists everyone loves for no reason <laughs> loves for no reason <laughs> that's not really the impression I got anything else oh there are dolls here okay A large painting lies on the floor, and a doll is nailed against the canvas. One nail goes through the head, another nail is in the chest. But the nail in the chest also passed through the circular hole on the key's handle. Oh yeah, I was wondering what that hole is. I wasn't, like, paying attention to the rest of it, but it's the key. Did the culprit leave the storage room after nailing the doll and key to the painting? If that's the case, how did they lock the room? The key was nailed to the picture, so it couldn't have been used. Well, that's what makes it a locked room mystery. I'm sure they figured out some trick. And I need to find out what that trick is. A doll nailed to the clock canvas. The key to the room is also nailed on. It's a large scenic painting with an a doll nail to it. I wonder how this ended up on the floor. Is there a reason? That's... If it's related to the incident, there's probably a reason. Let's assume that much. I think I got everything for this one. Wait, there's another oh. vent, like, next to it. So, they couldn't have gotten through the small window. They might have went into that vent. Seems like this is where the body was at the time of the incident. There's no trace of it anymore, though. It's looks, like the, looks like the area's been cleaned up. Probably by the peacekeepers or the art gallery staff. I don't think investigating here will turn up any useful information. Oh, I can't go anywhere, okay. So I can't click on this. And I can't see if she was strangled. The corpse of a young woman. She has nails all over her body, as expected. The victim's name is Issa Moet. She used her good looks to have relations with many men. Ah. Uh, I see. The amount of suspects who could have written her name on the doll is nearly too high to count. The 
victim okay, has the go. same marks that suggest being strangled to death. Huh? But there aren't any scratches that would have been left from a struggle. And... You noticed as well. Yeah, there's a wound on the back of her head. It looks pretty deep. Okay, so for her... The culprit made it seem like she died from strangulation when really she died from a hit to the back of the head. But why? Why is she different? I'm going to assume that she probably cut on that she was being followed or something and like resisted. And the culprit was like, oh shit, I gotta do something quick. Just hit her on the side of the head, which ended up killing her. And so he was like, okay, I gotta make this look like everything else. So let me just pretend to strangle her and leave that there and just continue on. This may be the real cause of death. Like the other victims, there are signs of strangulation, but no wounds from resisting, and signs of blunt force trauma to the back of the head. Nothing else? So we're, we're not gonna say it. Is this that important? Is this not a vent? Is it too small? Because I'm gonna have to say that it's either the window or these little vents. Like, it's gotta be. By the way, By the Lara, way Laura, I will not accept any requests to reduce your fee. <laughs> That's not what I was going to ask. About your post-cognition. What were you able to see before you specialized it as your forte for investigating crime scenes? What is the point of this question? Well, I was wondering if you could use your ability to look at my past. You want to see your lost memories like that? That's against the rules! No fair! The fact of the matter is, even if I could see your past, the information would not be of any use to you. Huh? Why is that? Psychometry doesn't allow me to pick and choose what to perceive. Rather, I can only see fragments flash by. Uh, which means if he doesn't understand what's happening in the scene, he can't take it in. He's like, he's like, I'm not gonna know anything about it. I cannot consciously access desired information. It's why I trained at the WDO to develop it into a forte specialized for investigations. Any piece of information would be valuable to me. If I can get even a little piece of my memory. If you insist, I'll consider it once this investigation is done. How about 100,000 Xian per use? Yeah, have you not learned? She charges for everything. Let's discuss it later. That sounded cheap to me somehow. My sense of money is getting all messed up. Well done, Elora! <laughs> oh, my bad. Hmm? The copper boxes are stacked up. Judging from the labels, the boxes were brought in after the incident. It Looks appears. like there's artwork inside. Must be stored the items no longer on the exhibits. I don't think they are related to the investigation. Anything else? No. It's a portrait painting with nails drawn into it. This picture really conveys its time period. Maybe the person depicted it as a from years ago. Uh, my what? my thing is, why for this one this was paintings, but everybody else got dolls? Now there is one doll laying there, but why? It seems out of place. Huh? That's really different about this guy. He just looks like a regular old geezer. Yeah. Yeah, this one was practically the same. That's why I was like, eh, I'm just gonna fly through that one. 
Yeah, so that was there for a reason. Wait, I was about to say, if I don't get no check mark. There are two keys that open this door. Only one of them was inside the room at the time of discovery. The other one was owned by a member of the art gallery staff. That staff member always carried the extra key, and used it to enter this room when the corpse was discovered. Where was the key found inside usually kept? It's supposed to be kept in the administrative office, but it's unknown if it was always there. Maybe it was lost and the culprit found it. Or perhaps, the culprit secretly stole it. Either way, the culprit managed to obtain the key somehow. Yeah. Um, hmm. Either they stole it, or they temporarily worked with the staff, disguised it. There were, there were a number of things how they got this key. One key was in the storage room. The other key was always carried by a staff member. If the culprit is that staff member, then this wouldn't be a locked room mystery, right? Why go through the trouble of making it look like a locked room murder if you'd immediately become the first suspect? Which is true. She makes a good point. I guess you wouldn't. Countered! <laughs> Two keys can open the door to the art gallery storage. At the time of the body was discovered, one of them was inside the room. I've been wondering, did the culprit knock this paint can over? If so, it could have been used for some sort of trick. It's unwise to make up your mind before conducting a proper investigation. It may have been like this before the murder. Or it could have tipped over when the discovery was first made. Alright. You got carried away in the hopes of getting complimented. Aren't you an eager little puppy? <laughs> Dang, she just keeps calling him out. Be quiet. Wait, there's still something here? Oh. I was about to say, like, there's something missing. There's no green oh. check mark. Spill paint has stained the floor. So we could find out when the spill occurred, we'll know if it's related to our investigation. Whoa! Painting is... a man screw with his hands clutching his face. There's something I'm nervous about this painting. I almost feel like it's going to swallow me whole. That's... Painting don't have that kind of power. More importantly, did you find anything? No, nothing suspicious. It doesn't look like it's related to the case. I like how they put that in there. There are just so many references. Uh... The canvas place here is completely blank. I wonder why it's blank. Why is it so messily placed with wooden frames? Well, it doesn't look like it exclusively piece. It may be used for some other event. I see. Nothing seems out of place. I don't think this will help with the case. Blank chaos of wind frame has been placed on the trolley. 
nothing seems to have changed between then and now, at least that's how it looks to me. It mm. appears to have changed to me as well. I mean, there's probably no efforts to be found here. Why were you nailed up there? And we're not gonna comment on it? The sheet placed over it to keep the dust off. It, it doesn't appears. look like it's been moved for a long time. Yeah, you can tell from the dust that's getting on the sheet, too. In other words, it's completely irrelevant. <laughs> there are baskets on top of the shelf. I'm not tall enough to see inside them, though. I I'll take a look for you. That dust is. What is it? We accomplished nothing! <laughs> so you found nothing. There's a nail stuck in a painting. The killer must have hammered a nail into the portrait instead of a doll. Why is there such a fixation on dolls? The crime scenes so far have all been abnormal. But this one's just sick and twisted. Hmm. I know it's into the portrait, perhaps in place of a doll, but why? Oh! It's a sculpture with a sheet over it. The sculpture was the same before after using post cognition. The overall shape of the sheep is also unchanged. You can also see that it's made to the The sculpture isn't related to the case. Oh! There are baskets on top of the shelf. There is nothing but dust inside. I guess it hasn't been used for a while. Basically, it's unrelated to the case. I should be enough. This game here, I feel like the full picture is slowly starting to come together. Anything else? You better hurry, or you'll run out of time. Shut up. <laughs> There's no timer on the screen, so I have plenty of time. That should do it for the room. Next is the window. It would be best to check outside of it. Go ahead. I'll stay here. Outside the window? All right. you do everything yourself i know oh. it's like oh i'm be your assistant but you're gonna do all the assistant work and my master does everything he's told like a good little underling detective halari is right this is something i took on myself i can't just rely on everyone else after putting on a tough front for that kid that was your tough front that's why i have to do it Halara's just taking advantage of you. It's obvious money is that one's only motivation. Even so, I think it's the right thing to do as a professional detective. Master, being overly nice for no reason is stupid. That's why you're so deep in debt. I know, but... What are you mumbling about? Did you check the window? <laughs> yeah, she's like, why are you just standing here thinking to yourself? Oh, right. I'll do it right away. Outside the window? Could that have anything to do with the locked room? Okay, so this is where I came out from.
Okay, there's nothing here. <laughs> An extra legal, extra privileged organization to move to eradicating the world of song. I want to say extra legal, extra privileged. Oh my god. A Meepo shop. Oh my god, every time I start with the Meepo and it, it cuts off. I wonder what Halara discovered. You know, I think Halara is just having fun pushing you around. I hope that's not the case. Now we gotta check our things. Hmm? Some horror boxes are stacked up. Looks like they're all sealed. They've been left in the rain, so I bet whatever sun is ruined. Maybe. Someone could probably scale this fence with some effort. Maybe the culprit escaped this way? Anyway. Maybe, but the real priority is solving the locked room mystery murder. I, I read that all wrong. Anyway, it's not like there are any clues left behind here. You're yeah. right. Let's focus on figuring out that locked room. I was just trying to get points and some shinies, but I see. Here's the window. That window is so small. There's no way. Well, see anything strange? No, nothing strange about it. I see. Try entering through the window. What? Between the gap? That's impossible. Just try it. Okay. <laughs> He's bracing himself like, uh, why is he banging his head against the window? I, I can't. I can't even put my arm through this gap. I can stick a finger in, but that's it. I thought so. Good job. You can return now. Yeah, because even I could tell, like, at first the window looked small. But then when we started doing close-up camera of this, I was like, oh, it's small, small. Like, you could probably, like, put your arm through it, but that's about it. Nothing else is getting through that. And but for him, he said, I can put a couple fingers in here, but that's about it. Huh? Are you sure? Did you figure something out? Did you not? <laughs> She's like, how dare you ask me that question? No, not at all. What's that about? A hinge window used for ventilation. It opens outward, but the gap is about five centimeters wide. Uh, who's that? Hi, how are you doing? Shimigami, can you like give us a heads up? Who is this? Hey, what are you doing here? Ooh, you scared me. Huh? Um, I, I'm not doing anything shady. I'll call the peacekeepers. Wait, I'm... Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Because... If we say peacekeeper, he's gonna wonder why we're snooping here. If we say detective, should we just say detective? I wanted to say detective. <clears throat> I'm a detective. Well, I'm still a trainee, technically. Uh oh. You sure it's a good idea to reveal yourself like that? I'm investigating as a detective. I've done nothing to be ashamed of. Huh? A detective? What's that? Oh, that's sad. He doesn't even know what that is. You don't know what a detective is? I guess detectives aren't that big in Kanai Ward. Must be because our fuzz head chief is lazy. Um, well... We are special investigators for Amaterasu Corporation. We are currently investigating a case. Civilians must not interfere. Huh? Oh, right. I'm, I'm sorry. 
Hey, Alara, are you sure it's okay to lie like that? Did she already tell you sometimes lying is necessary to get things done? I've told you before that deception is necessary to finish an investigation quickly. By the way, aren't you an employee here? There's something I'd like to ask you. Can you bring over the staff member who discovered the body from that murder case a month ago? Oh, uh, that would be me. How convenient. Perfect. Describe the events for us. I'm scared to even remember it, but if it's part of the investigation, then I have no choice. I'll leave the rest up to you. Uh, sure. All right. I'll leave the rest. I'll leave the rest to you. Now, please tell us what happened on the day of the murder. That day, I was doing my closing procedures when someone from the church appeared. Ah, uh, church people, you looking uh really? Oh, but it's probably the worship. The worshiper, the one that's tailing the nail man. <laughs> he said he wanted me to help him find someone and that he knew the person was inside the art gallery. I oh, mean, my higgles are coming back. So we looked around the premises together, but didn't find anyone. According to him, there was a chance that the person he was looking for was being pursued by the nail man. I couldn't help but feel terrified when I heard that. How did you notice something was off about the storage room? Your accent says that you're from Alabama. <laughs> it's really down south. You can hear it. The lights were on, even though they were usually off. So I went to take a look. The door was locked, so I opened it with the key I had. But I, I was afraid to go any further. So I let the church person go first and open the door while I watched from behind. And then there was a... Did you touch the body? Uh, of course not. I was too afraid and froze at the entrance. What about the churchgoer? He saw what happened at the doorway and didn't go any further. Are you positive you didn't touch anything inside after unlocking the door? Yes, but the churchgoer accidentally kicked a paint can over when he opened the door. That paint spilled all over the floor. So that paint was from back then? Okay, I get the picture. Thank you. You may go now. Oh, right. At the time the body was discovered, someone from the church tried to enter a knocked over a paint can. That brings all the information together. It's time to resolve the case. Uh, wait! I still have no idea what happened! Time does not wait for you. Our deadline is approaching. You hurry back to the detective agency. Huh? What about you? Worry not. When you're in trouble, say my name. What? <laughs> Halara say Nightmare my name, shall say rush my to name. your aid. And gone. What are you gonna do, Master? We've checked everything we can. All that's left is to point out the true culprit, but... If only it were that easy! Oh, I have no clue what to do! Stop being so pathetic! Why don't we go back to the detective agency for now? We might get to see Fuzzhead get executed! Alright! We need to help him! I need to hurry back before the chief gets executed! Let's hurry! I want to know how they'll execute him, too. Oh my god. <laughs> She's like, oh, I don't care. So, before we do that, 
I'm gonna do a quick run through here. So I already went to this cafe. So there's no point going in there. Hey, that's not where you should be going right now. Okay. I don't know what's with the bus function uh function. Can't say words right. If I could just use the map to teleport instantly. So busy brooding that you forgot where the agency is located. I'm just looking. I'm just running around, running around trying to find things. I wish I could run up and down the street, but it doesn't let you. Hey, that's not where you should be going right now. Stop telling me where I should be going. Okay. It doesn't seem like there's anything, so... What, I can't use... Currently unable to travel by bus? What, do I, oh, do I have to physically run there? Oh my god. Is the game making me do this? I could play- oh no, that's- I read that one before. Dragon Palace? A popular meat bunny shop in Ginma District- Ah. Every time I say the word meat bun just goes by so fast. So... So I have to physically run there. It is not letting me use the bus. It is not letting me use the map to teleport. Okay. A meat bun shop and costume dish are relatively new compared to the other shops. They're struggling to attract new customers. The cheese meat buns are most popular, priced at 250 shin a piece. That's probably like 250. $2.50 cents. So I gotta find the one that says Hamasaki District. Probably something's gonna happen the moment I set foot in there. Meat bun. See, look, every time I say meat bun, it just, <laughs> it goes right over. Come on, let's go! Go, go, go! Ooh. You better hurry or you'll run out of time. There's no timer! He doesn't want to use the mystery lab in because he doesn't want anyone to get killed, but I'm just like, you're very, you're thinking very naively. Because I don't think you're gonna have you much better of a hurry, choice. Or Buzzhead will really be in danger. Can I? Abandoned building. Oh, this is when I first came here. Okay. I have to find the freaking subway. seems to know who the real culprit is. That's incredible! Come on! Where's your competitive spirit? You might be a trainee, but you're still a detective!
I think she's gonna go and go get the culprit and get them to like admit it. Um, by continuing ahead, it will not be possible to return for some time. Continue. Ooh, okay, this is the game saying you ain't gonna have time to do shit. I really, yeah, because it, the game's really saying if you go here, you won't be able to do anything else for like a hot minute. Okay, so I've been to the clock tower. I expect the clock tower. Um, I think if there's any place I would like to return to, I think would be the church. Uh, I don't know. You know what? Let's just save. Let's just do a good save. So that way, if I like, don't get like, um, if I can't return to any of the places or anything like that, I can just, I can just go back. Because I'm, um, but this also could say like, hey, if you do this, all like the side quests will disappear. But I think I've done every side quest, so it shouldn't really matter too much. Yeah, there's no green anywhere, so I think I'm good. I think I'm good. How much time I have? Okay, I got plenty of time. Meat bun. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, <laughs> he's stressing. <laughs> he's like, all right, got it. It's about time. Hey, wait! You said I had three hours, huh? My watch says I still got five minutes. You need to get your watch repaired. Oh dear. The watchmaker is currently detained as a suspect. Just throw away that piece of trash then. Damn. <laughs> he said I ain't waiting anymore. Besides, you're out of time anyway. Take him away. Wait! Oh, Yuma! I knew you'd save me! And you are. <sighs> I was the one investigating the Nail Man murders. Oh, I see. So, you're the one who interfered with our work at the Clock Tower. Well, I will honor your courage for confessing and turn a blind eye to that incident. You must drop this case. If you do, we will leave without pursuing any further action. That'd be the ideal solution for all of us. What do you say? Yuma, think carefully about this. <laughs> He's just like, if you say no to this deal, our ass might be grass. <laughs> Solving the case is good and all, but think about my well-being, please. Dropping the case would end this peacefully, but still. Please! Get my dad back from them! Please! You may be a trainee, but you are still a detective. Once you have accepted a job, you must finish it. I can't back down now. The Neil Man killings haven't been solved yet. I will find the truth. Huh? Oh, you've said it now. There's no pulling out of this one anymore. Then our deal is off. He comes with us. This is for directly interfering with our work and bringing strife to Khan Ward. 
but... Please, wait, before you go. Please listen to what I've discovered while investigating the past Nailman killings. You investigated the previous killings. Uh, he, he looked unsure now. We handle all the information for those cases. Now that they're closed, there's nothing left in the crime scenes. I have no time for your lies. The Peacekeeper report didn't say anything about the cause of death. All of the victims were strangled to death, weren't they? I suspect this fact hasn't been made public. How did you know that? So the cause of death was kept under wraps. I hope you see now. My investigation is legitimate. Ooh. Yeah, Seth is gonna have to play ball now. He's like, how do you know that information? That, those, that information is like closed off and is not public. The victims of the serial killings were all strangled, but the cause of death was not publicized. Please, let me continue. I will catch the true culprit. Hmm. I don't know where you obtained that information. However, it appears that you must be arrested as well. Huh? I mean, yeah, you just... He doesn't know how you got the information, and you can't just say, Oh, I used Halara's powers to see into the past. Like, now he's like, okay, I gotta get rid of you too now. You are suspected of espionage. I believe an interrogation is in order. Take him away. You're gonna have to use the mystery lab, my boy. What? Wait, please listen to me! Damn! <laughs> you almost had it, but got too carried away, rookie! Worry not. When you're in trouble, say my name. Halara Nightmare shall rush to your aid. That's right! Halara! Please help! Halara Nightmare! It appears you require the aid of a great detective. <laughs> she just loves tracking skulls. Look at him, look at him, he's like, oh my god. <laughs> Lara, you came for me. Yeah, as I said I would. You committed acts of violence against the Yamaterasu Corporation peacekeepers. Not once, but twice. Uh, sorry. I promise to give him a stern lecture after this. <laughs> Can we please keep things on the down low? Uh, Mr. Seth, are you alright? Who do you think we are? In this town, we're... You are nothing but an audience. The resolution is premiering now. The leading role belongs not to you or me, but to you. Me? I'm the lead guy here? I've set the stage for you to solve the case. The time has come for you to risk it all as a detective. Expose the true culprit. Yeah, I knew it was one of the churchgoers. What's going on? I don't know why I was brought here. Can I go home? That's what you meant about setting the stage. I mean, Halara did suggest the real killer was among the people at the church. And now I have to point them out here? You might want to stop time. <laughs> hey, Yuma. Are you sure you got this? Are you really, really sure? There's no room to mess up here, you know? Um, well... I haven't gathered my thoughts yet. It's not like I can just ask for more time here. Yeah, I don't think so. Laura seems to know the answer already, so why don't you just pay up for it? But that 
that would waste all of Halara's efforts setting the stage for me. Huh. So you want to solve this all on your own? If you can't ask Halara for help, why don't you try asking me instead? You mean the mystery labyrinth? The peacekeepers aren't just gonna stand by and listen to your deduction here. Things are just gonna escalate, and it might even end up with more deaths. Oh no. That's where yours truly comes in. We have the information we need from the investigation. All that's left is to solve the case with the mystery labyrinth. But if I do that... There's always a price to pay. When I read the soul of the true culprit, the mystery labyrinth created by the culprit is destroyed. Yeah? But as a price, the source that created the mystery labyrinth also perishes. I mean, the only thing you would really have to- well, you don't really have to explain it. Like, if they suddenly drop dead, like, on the spot as you call them out on their bullshit, everyone's gonna be like, what just happened? Which means, the real culprit will die. Huh? This killer's a total psycho who's already killed many others. Why do you care so much? Do you want to solve this case, Master? What about your promise to that kid? What's wrong, Yuma? If you don't hurry, the peacekeepers will wake up. <laughs> what is this nonsense about a resolution? I don't have time for this. I will make you listen by force if needed. That is my job as assistant. Well, you better hurry, or things will start getting bloody around here! <laughs> yeah, like, dude, you used the mystery like One person dies, everyone dies. Like... Sorry, but there's no contest. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> That's the spirit! Well, Master, are you mentally physically prepared? doing it again so we get to see this every time oh my god I thought that was going to be a one-time thing, but we get what? to see it every time. Wait, is, is Lara still moving? What's this? Has time... stopped? The, the Halara, how are you moving right now? Yuma, what happened? Is this someone's forte? Shinigami, Halara's in here too! Ah, uh, thought so. You knew this would happen? Master, you used your coalescence, remember? Your ability isn't a one-way street. You have the power to borrow someone's abilities, and you share yours as well. Kalara wandered into the Mystery Labyrinth because of that effect. I think. You're not even sure? <laughs> You're not even sure. Who... are you? Hmm, this'll take too long to explain, plus I don't feel like it. So I'll be back home over the <laughs> Jeez. Okay, so if we share the ability, they come with us in a mystery labyrinth. Uh, yes, of course I'm gonna save my progress. What do you think this is? Fuck. 
Netflix. I wish it was new information every single time. If you gotta make the loading screens this long. Oh, it's the same as before. I thought it'd be like a different arena each time. Where am I? Um, uh, what should I do? I'll need to explain everything, won't I? We don't have much of a choice now. No point in keeping secrets here. Um, Halara? Let me explain. <laughs> oh, I just fast forward. <laughs> Let me explain this entire situation. And that's how this mystery labyrinth involving the Nail Man killings materialized. I see. So mystery labyrinths are materialization of mysteries themselves, and the truth is encased deep within. I appear to have underestimated you. This is an amazing forte. I must admit, it's quite a superhuman power. As far as I know, no other ability comes close to this. Who are you? I refuse to think you're just a trainee detective. Um, to be honest, this isn't my ability. Before you continue, tell me, who is that woman beside you? Her name is Shinigami. I think the simplest way to describe her is that she's a guide for the mystery labyrinth. That's me! I'm also Master Scaricute Mentor! On to my next question. You're just gonna ignore me? You mentioned the Nailman case just now. I had heard the rumors about that around town. Why are you investigating that case? Huh? What are you talking about? We were just investigating the Nailman case together. Yeah, what's going on? The Nail Man. We were pursuing that case together. Oh, Shiba Guy, did you take some of her memories? Like, unconsciously? You don't remember? There was a young boy who wanted to hire a detective and you turned him down. I do remember you received a request from a child about some case, and you ended up seeking my help. The cost for hiring me was 5,500,800 yen. Damn! I was hoping that she would forget that. I was like, okay, maybe if her memories are gone about the case, maybe she's forgotten our 5 million dead, and we can just skedaddle out of that. You remember the exact amount. But I can't remember what the case involved. I do vaguely recall investigating something. I think I get why the game did this, because if Halara already knew who it, who it was, us going through the labyrinth wouldn't mean anything. Like, she would just be like, but the culprit's da da and she would just explain the entire thing. My mind is clouded. I don't remember exactly what was being investigated or what was discovered. Could that be? Yeah, it's because of the mystery labyrinth. The mystery labyrinth is a fortress protecting the truth, so outsiders usually can't reach it. If someone did happen to wander in, their memories of the case would be locked away. Though, if you have a pact with me, you wouldn't be affected. But I guess that part of the pact can't be shared. Mm. This is the mystery labyrinth's defense mechanism, then. Yeah, cause so when she gets out of here, she's gonna remember the entire case and get all her memories back. It makes sense for a vault that protects its treasure, the truth, to have a significant level of security. Yep. Totally not strange at all. Halara here sure is smart. Halara? 
Oh, <laughs> that's the nickname? <laughs> to hell, Laura. Oh, don't mind her. She gives people random nicknames. Anyway, since my memories of the case have been taken away, I will provide a supporting role for your investigation. Supporting role? As long as we're in here, I will act as your assistant. Well, that's the same as our original agreement. Okay, so you remember that part. That means we can't rely on Halara's detective skills to blast through this dungeon. That's unfortunate, but it's still nice to have an ally. Hey, Master, before we head into the Mystery Labyrinth, let's do that thing. Huh? What thing? Master, are you ready to give your life for the truth? The sword? Yeah, I am. This world is just full of surprises. Look at her face. She's just like, I was not expecting you to to fist deep throat her and she pull out a sword out of it. That's sad. I was not expecting that. I assume that sword is used to cut down enemies interfering with your progress through the mystery labyrinth? You're right. It's a special sword that can interact with things here. Materialize the solution keys I got during the investigation, too. <sighs> Why? <sighs> that was a lot. Here you go. Uh, do you have to vomit them out every time? Yeah. Should I use a different hole instead? No, no, please do not use a different hole. You know what? If 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 we if we have a choice in which hole you get to use, you know what? The mouth, the mouth's fine. Just 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 keep on the mouth. It's fine, it's fine. You know, just give us some gloves. You know, I asked for them last time. You didn't give them to me. Sorry, please don't mind her. All right, we're all set. Now, let's unriddle this mystery labyrinth! Our target is the true culprit who preys on the truth! I wonder how hard I'm gonna be sucking for this one. I understand that progressing through this mystery labyrinth will allow us to obtain the truth. All right, I'm going to take a quick break before we continue. So, can, wait, can I pull, okay, I can pull this up. All right, cool. So, I'll be back and just uh, give me like two minutes and I'll be back, y'all. All right? All right, I am back. Let's continue on with this lab. Hopefully, I can do the entire labyrinth in this one stream. Let's see if we can beat the whole labyrinth in, in one stream. But what happens to us if we can't find it? Heh, <laughs> it's not pretty. We'd be lost, wandering around here forever. But as long as we reach the truth, it doesn't matter how much time we spend here. Oh, I forgot to mention this. But there's a time limit for solving the mystery lab. Oh, so now all of a sudden there's a time limit. Oh, what? There's a limit to how long you can stay in here. Stick around too long and your soul will leave your body behind. Your soul will wander until it's eventually absorbed by the mystery labyrinth. And you vanish entirely. In other words... 
words, you die! <laughs> oh, and she tells us this now. Why are you laughing? You should have told me this a long time ago! Oh, relax, quit whining. A detective is bound to die anyway. Isn't that right, Halara? It's no different from our usual line of work. A detective's life is always on the line. See? Listen up, Master. You might learn something. You're taking this awfully well, Halara. Oh. I think she's just like taking things in stride. I think she's like internally freaking out, but on the outside, she's putting on like on a strong front. Oh, and wait until she slashes her neck. I wonder if she's gonna react then. Oh my god. What's this? They seem to represent the four crime scenes. Mm. I assume that solving all four will allow us to progress. Oh, I see. You see? Master, this is your job. So what's first? How about starting with the clock tower, since it was the first one you investigated? If the numbers are set chronologically, then the clock tower would be the fourth locked room mystery. Are you going to the fourth locked room? Sure. It's the third one that's going to be... The, the second and third one is they're, they're gonna be sickles, but the third one's gonna be the hardest because. How? This is an exact replica of the clock tower crime scene. Shinigami, you didn't recreate it with your powers, did you? No, I can only do that when I hit you so hard in the head, you almost die. Oh my god. <laughs> So she hits him with the intention of death. It looks to me like the crime scene materialized in the labyrinth on its own. The fourth locked room is the latest chronologically, correct? That's right. And this is also what got me involved in the mailman killings. What are the details of the case? Try to tell me as concisely as possible. The crime was a locked room murder inside the storage room of a clock tower. In the middle of the room was a woman's corpse covered in countless nails. Which means that's the corpse. Yeah, there were also lots of dolls nailed to the walls. It looked just like one of those bizarre crime scenes left behind by that nailman guy from the urban legend. Okay, that, let's just say right now, if let, let me just see this for right now. Um, so let me put up my my uh, theory. Now she pulled out the the church the church covers, which means it's either one of them or none of them. Now, if we're gonna put this in order, plus the boy, because I still suspect the boy still because of how small and cramped these places are, it's just like how are they doing it? Um, I would say none is the top. Um, the priest is second. The worshiper is third, and he's the fourth. And then after that, it would be the boy. Because, like I said, Halara pulled up church cards like she already knew the answer. So, that's the only reason why he got bumped down to the bottom. Because the only reason I was just kind of suspecting the boy is because. He kind of gets left on a lot, and these are really, really small and tight places to, like, escape through. So, that's kind of why. Um, so yeah, that's the order I'm going to go off of. Let's see how wrong or right I am. Hence the nail man killings. From the look of it, the door was locked from the inside. Yeah, it was locked until the body was discovered. There's only one window, and its shutters were down as well. 
I see. So the shutters were locked too. This is the third floor of the clock tower. It's too high up to jump from here. Hmm. So it really is a locked room mystery. Hey! If this is a locked room, aren't we stuck in here too? Oh no! Master! You're trapped unless you solve this mystery! Otherwise, you'll run out of time and your soul gets snuffed out! You better hurry! <laughs> she pulls out the, the side. Uh. But hey! Huh? Uh. I see. So that's how to make the questions appear. You're so calm about it. Please, she was so concerned for my well-being. Just a little bit will be fine. I'm surprised you're so calm after seeing that. Where did the comfort flee from? Where did they flee from? What do you mean, where did they... Yeah, I want to say the window, but... Can I press on this? Here. It has to be here. The culprit must have escaped through the window. And your reasoning? When I arrived at the scene, the window shutters were closed. It was wet underneath the window, but I could tell it was already starting to dry. Which means, the window was open not too long ago. It's likely the culprit escaped through the window and closed the shutters on the way out. Yep. Is it possible to close the shutters from the outside? Yes. This style of shutter automatically locks, so if you let go of the shutters at the right height, its momentum pulls it down. And once down, it locks all on its own. In other words, the culprit held up the shutters while moving outside. Once they let go, it automatically locked. In that case, Let's try leaving this locked room in the same way! Right. Let's try it. Oh my god. Yep, I knew it. He's a plant man? The nail man killings have already been solved. Is he that peacekeeper? It's a mystery phantom! People covering up the case in the real world are manifested like that here to stop us! You think the culprit really escaped from here, this high up? If you fall, you die. <laughs> Why don't you give it a try? Oh my god. <laughs> Why is he posed like that? Hey, don't drag me down with you! We can't leave a guest behind, Halara! It would be downright unmannerly! Why are you so calm about it still? It's so simple! Oh man, we got a whole thing going on here. Dealing with continuous attacks. Press the correct button when you think you have the correct answer to the question as it throws at you. Yes, my what did, tough for you, Master. What did the... Uh, attacks are gonna keep coming, but be careful. Go take damage if you avoid all assault. Ah! Oh. What did the copper use to escape from the high location? Okay, so press the right button if I think I have the answer. Yuma, the mystery labyrinth is a manifestation of a mystery, so solving it will get us out of this, right? I... I think so! The culprit wouldn't have fallen out of the window like we did. They would need a tool to get up and down. A tool? You should have found something during the investigation. I was helping you, after all. 
You must have seen the answer with your own eyes. Try to remember. escape the high location. Must be it. That's it. We found the burnt remains of that rope in the incinerator at the church. The culprit had used that rope to escape through the window. What traces did using the rope leave behind? I pressed Y. I pressed Y. No, what are you watch it? What? What's going on here? No, I can't watch it. What? Am I not supposed to press anything? Oh, I'm not supposed to press anything. Okay. Okay, I was getting so confused because I was like instinctively moving things out the way. The doll under the window had some rub marks on it. The culprit must have tied the rope there. That's why those nails have been hammered in below the window. It wouldn't be possible to climb down a rope simply hooked onto a window unless you've had special training for it. There's no way an amateur could manage it. That can't be how things went down. In that case, it couldn't have been an ordinary rope. It must have been... What's that? I can't well, hear we're the you! Um, strength? <laughs> Safety fine, Don't worry. rope ladder, I'm right belt. here with you! In spirit and way. There's some way I can dodge what, it. It's not. Okay, I'm wrong. It wouldn't be possible to climb down a rope simply hooked onto a window. Unless you've had special training for it. There's no way an amateur could manage it. That can't be how things went down. In that case, it couldn't have been an ordinary rope. It must have been... What's that? I can't hear you! Don't worry, I'm right here with you! In spirit and way. There's it's not that either? Ugh! So it's belt? It wouldn't be possible to climb down a rope simply hooked onto a window. Unless you've had special training for it. There's no way an amateur can I was manage in a belt. it. That can't be how things went Explain down. Explain that to me. In that case, it couldn't have been an ordinary rope. It must have been... What's that? I can't hear you! Oh wait, so I was right, but I pressed the wrong button. Got it. Okay, I keep getting X and A confused. Ow! We're alive. I yeah, think. because I, I was just like, what? Because in my head, I pressed X, but I guess I pressed A instead. So I was just like, how is it a bell? Explain, that makes no fucking sense. But it was rope ladder. Yuma, are you okay? Yeah, thanks. You saved me, Halara. Correct, it's all thanks to me. Money well spent, no? Well, it was a lot of money. We're just gonna keep staring at each other all day. Let's get out of this locked room. 
Er, right. So this is the rope ladder in question. It certainly would help you escape. Okay, so I was right, they use like rope to like climb down. The details of the case are still unclear to me. Was this found in the church's incinerator? That's right. It didn't concern me at the time, but it makes sense now. I lost so much health with that too. The rope can be folded in the middle, and then the ends can be connected together. And that's how they made a rope ladder. What makes you so sure it was used here? The nail under the window showed signs of friction from a rope and had some yellow fibers on it. A clergy member showed me the rope's burnt remains, and I noticed it was the same yellow color. And there were footprints on the ground below the window of the clock tower, facing the wall. Thinking about it now, these were clearly signs that someone climbed down the rope ladder and landed there. Wasn't the rope ladder hitched on that nail? How did they get it down from the bottom? The culprit could have cut it one rung at a time as they descended. By the time they reached the bottom... It would have been one long, single rope, which they could easily pull down. The window shutters fell due to its weight and locked automatically. Completing the locked room. Yep, that's a stellar deduction. Major props. To me for training you! Uh-oh, it's coming back. The culprit used that rope ladder to escape the clock tower. What of it? Doesn't change our verdict at all. The watchmaker is the culprit. Master, boom! Kill the mystery phantom blocking your path. Y yeah. Arena. Oh, you guys fear heights. Least it. Uh, yeah. Productions of yours are unnecessary. It's clear who the culprit is. The watchmaker was nearby at the time of the crime. The watchmaker was also at the sea. And he had a hammer for the nails. In other words, he committed the crime. After committing the crime, just as you deduced, he created that locked room and escaped via the rope ladder. Nope. This is the truth. <sighs> the watchmaker is afraid of heights. He couldn't even look out the windows as he went up the tower. No way he climbed a rope ladder that high up. So it's impossible for him to have committed the crime. He's not the nail man. Damn you. I can't get over his head of weed hair. Oh, he's gone for now, huh? You said these mystery phantoms try to cover up the case, right? Which means the peacekeeper Seth is trying to do just that. I don't know why, but it's clear the peacekeepers are involved with this case. Perhaps it is connected to Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. All the more reason to seize the truth. Let's go. Right. 
Jeez, who's the protagonist here? I know. He is following along. The cob la la. By the way, Yuma, about your sword. Does it only work on cues and mystery phantoms? The solution blade works against anything in the mystery labyrinth. So, don't cut your allies by mistake, Master. You could have told me that sooner. Can I use that sword? Ooh, so sorry. Only Master is able to use it because he made a pact with yours truly. You may be under the effects of coalescence, but you're just an extra here, Hellara. So, nope, you can't use the Solution Blade. I was merely curious. Regardless, it's best I act as support, since I don't have any memories of what happened. Let's return to the case. Assuming the Watchmaker isn't the culprit, do you have any notion of who is? I... Do. Uh, Halara, during the investigation, you claimed one of the people at the church is the culprit. I think I understand the reason why now. That rope was found inside the incinerator, which only clergy members could access. Yeah, this is very true. In other words, whoever tried to destroy the evidence is a member of the church. Yep. <laughs> Prompt and logical. I am quite impressive. Ugh. Wait, you're tooting your own horn? <laughs> Look at her, her disgusted face. Hey! A treasure chest! Can I open it? I mean, you, you did it before we even end anything. Check it out! A new solution key! Only Kurgi men have access to the incinerator. I really think it's the nun. We're back oh, it to burned. the original spot. So we cleared the first route. We just need to keep this up and go through each shrine one by one to gather clues about the culprit. Which supposedly leads to solving the real life case. I'm starting to understand how the mystery labyrinth operates. You learn fast. Unlike a certain master I know. If you're so impressed, why don't you just sign a pact with Halara? Oh, are you sulking? <laughs> you're the jealous kind, aren't you? Oh my gosh, he's just he's just tired of your mouth. He's just You've been bashing him since you first showed up in the game. No, I'm not. We're short on time, aren't we? Let's move on. Right. I can't wait to reap the culprit's soul. What do we do next? I think we should just go in order. You can choose whichever you want, so why not start with the one you're most confident with? Yeah, because the first one, I'm pretty sure they went through the vent. I'm pretty sure. It's the third one that is going to become the most complicated one. Let's see... The second one is kind of complicated, and the third one is just like, what the fuck? <laughs> Okay. The first locked room happened six months ago in a secret club in Kamasaki District. An old geezer was nailed to the wall in an underground casino. If you think you're up for it, then let's solve this thing. Are you going to the first locked room? Gonna hate if my if my grade for this meant. Oh, oh hold you're on. Trapped inside a locked room again. I'm gonna be so upset that if my end of labyrinth stats are like really really low because I got hit so much, 
it was because it was just like instinctively I was trying to dodge so I was moving the stick to like left or right to like get out of the way but apparently that was the wrong thing to do and then I keep forgetting which button is which my freaking switch I keep thinking A is the top button and X is the one on the side I don't know why isn't solved, then I won't escape this place. <gasps> Trapped in a cramped room with these two. <laughs> She's like, this is the very definition of hell. Sounds kind of fun, actually. What? I have no intention of playing along with your fantasies. Yuma, hurry up and take care of this. Yeah, okay. Okay. Where did the culprit flee from? This is where I used Hilara's Forte with my coalescence for the first time. Postcognition allowed us to see the crime scene as it was in the past. Some things were obviously different. Those are most suspicious. Yeah, obviously it's the vent. I know! What about the vent? Oh, is he going to again? You believe the culprit escaped... through the vent? Yes, I'm sure of it. When I saw the crime scene with your post-cognition, the screws on the four corners of the vent cover were removed. Which means the culprit must have escaped from there. Here he comes. Yep, I knew it. <sighs> How ludicrous. Ah! You're saying the culprit escaped from the vent? That's impossible. Master, poke him full of holes until he's a makeshift golf course! What? <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. Just go with it. And, okay, there we go. Jeez. I thought we were about to fly through the air again. Door key, nails beneath the vent. Nope. Nope. Nails beneath the vent. How ludicrous. They used the vent. Oh. I was trying to, like, wait to the last second, possible. but it didn't work. Think of where that vent is. Isn't it pretty high up? There's no way you could get there. Even if the cover was removed. Ah, come on! There's no foothold to use to reach it. Let's through this mystery! He's really tricky with these moves. I'm getting hit a lot in this labyrinth. Some of the nails stuck in the bottom of the vent were bent downward. The culprit used the nails driven into the wall as footing to reach the vent. The weight caused the nails to bend. That's it? Alright. So you're forced to fight this way every time. Quite the test of endurance. Yeah, no kidding. However, solving the mystery itself was simple. The nails were used as footing to escape through the vent. Did you find that out using my post-cognition? Yeah. Without your help, this case would have been impossible to solve. You'll never be considered a full-fledged detective until you can handle a case like this on your own. Sorry. You got lectured again. <gasps> Sucks to be a rookie, huh? <laughs> anyway, let's head out. 
I'll use the nails on the wall as footing, just like you deduced. Right, let's hurry. Oh, I was about to say, like, who's watching us? The Mystery Labyrinth. Such a bizarre place. I must ask, is there no way to escape besides solving the mysteries? You mean like in the emergency exit? Unfortunately, I don't think that exists. An emergency exit, huh? Is one kind of uh, watch it's gonna take some of our lifespan isn't it isn't it there is but it doesn't solve anything he'll just go right back to the mess you came from besides to use the emergency exit you'll have to pay a heavy heavy price and that is don't worry about it using it here wouldn't help anyway so, never mind. Just concentrate on solving the mystery. Got it. Yeah, it, it's going to take a huge chunk out of our lifespan, so don't use it. I was going to talk to her. Hmm. If it's like that, if it's like before, there should be a solution key here. It will reveal the perpetrator of the crime at the student club. Once you obtain it, you should check it thoroughly. There it is! Another treasure! So, who's gonna open the treasure chest this time? How about, uh, whoever looks like they'd win a character popularity poll? Oh my god. Oh! If, if she automatically picks her, she's like, yeah, me, of course. All right, another solution key. Only someone with a slender build could have used the nails as footing or escape from the vent. Looks like another clue leading us toward the culprit. Hmm, someone then. Considering the culprit used those nails as footing, they would have to be nimble. And given the size of the vent, only someone thin could fit through it. So the culprit must be thin. We're narrowing down the possibilities quite nicely. Keep it up, Master! This is all thanks to my training. Keep going and solve the remaining locked rooms! Go straight to number two. This one's a little bit more complicated. The second locked room mystery occurred three months ago in that mansion. The corpse was inside the study, and the room's key was found underneath the corpse. If you think you're up for it, then let's solve this thing. Are you going to the second locked room? Q. A masterization of mystery in building the block of mystery labyrinth. Oh, let me read the whole thing. There are dolls nailed across the room. The victim is nailed down in the same manner. And the culprit was also missing from this room? It shares common traits with the other nailman killings. And we're trapped again. Looks like you gotta solve the mystery of this locked room or we're not leaving. I'll try. He always looks freaked out. You should be expecting it at this point. Where's the conversation? The door from? was locked when the corpse was found. And the only key was underneath the body. There are no windows that could have been used to escape. And the vent is too small to fit through. So how did the culprit escape from here?
I'm looking for question marks. So, did they not escape from here? But the thing is, there's yellow on here, which means they used it somehow. I'm just gonna click on it. Mistake. Okay. It's too small for someone to pass through here. Yes, and it looks like the bars are screwed shut from the inside, so they can't be removed. Okay, so my initial theory is wrong. You can't escape. But they used there. it somehow. Maybe they never did. Maybe they were just hiding the whole time. Mistake. Hmm. There doesn't appear to be any gimmick around here. You can't escape from here. Did they escape through the front door? It was the front door? Oh my god, I was overthinking it. Spot. I was overthinking it hard as hell. To leave the room. The culprit had to have taken this door to the hallway. Huh? There's nothing special about that. Yeah, that was exactly why I was overthinking it hard as hell. But there's no other possibility. There isn't another entrance or exit. But the door itself was locked and the key was found under the corpse, right? After locking it from outside in the hallway, how did the culprit enter the room and put the key under the corpse? Try it. Everything must be verified. You're sure. After committing the crime, the culprit went out to the hallway with the key in hand. They then locked the door. Assuming that's the only way to create this locked room, the problem is... What are you going to do with that key in your hand, Master? Don't tell me you still have no idea. Okay, so they killed the person, got the key, walked out. Walked out, used some type of string to reel it back onto the body, and they cut the rope and pulled it back. That's what I'm thinking what happened. Oh, hold on, let me think this over. We should go back inside for now. <laughs> nope. What? Huh? Looks like we're locked out. This is bad, Master! You better hurry or you'll fall into the abyss! What do I do? Calm down. You just need to solve the mystery. Doing that will open the path. You can do it, can't you? Y yes, I'll try. Um, we have to put the key back in the locked room, right? In that case, because of the culprit, uh, thrown away, thrown, and taken home. That's right. The key could be slid through the gap in the vent cover above the door. And if they manage to throw the key right under the corpse from here... It stopped. I thought it was wrong because it glowed red. <laughs> I was like, no, oh, please don't tell me I'm wrong. But it did a whole cutscene. I was like, man, this is a really long, wrong cutscene. But nothing happened. The door is still closed wrong a trap would have activated so we're on the right track about the key being thrown in but there's more to it than that if you simply threw it in it'd be impossible to position it under the corpse i see so this is the vital clue for this locked room i'm beginning to understand what happened here a 
Alara, have you already solved the trick to this locked room? You haven't? Hey, quit playing hard to get and tell us. Or just me. You can whisper it in my ear. If you want information from me, you'll have to pay a fitting price in Xi'an. Of course, I don't work for cheap. You really are a devil! Trying to take money from a death god, huh? The key was definitely tossed inside. But that doesn't explain how it got under the corpse. Which string? String! So... How did the culprit pull off that trick after tossing the key in? Maybe the corpse was moved? That would explain how it was on top of the key. Oh wait, what if... Um, I'm, I'm really trying to think, but then it just kind of stopped me. I was thinking maybe they used string to like, prop up the torso? And then they nailed it in, took the key, walked out, throwing it in so that way it got like some way under the corpse, cut the rope, dropped back down. Maybe that's how it happened. But how do you move a body from outside a locked room? Aww, the way's completely blocked off. But the only things here that can block our progress are mysteries, right? That's true! So, we just need to solve the mystery! Uh, at least give me a heads up first. It says, how was the corpse moved? <laughs> she just completely ignored it. She was like, whatever. <laughs> I've been trying to figure it out for a while, but... Evidence was left at the scene. Huh? If you look at the evidence, you'll understand what tool the culprit used to pull this off. Tool? That's all the advice I'll provide. You must figure out the rest yourself if you wish to be a true detective. Uh, got it. Got it? You just want the mystery solved for you, huh? I can tell, because I'm your mentor. <laughs> he really does. He was like, oh, you know the answer? And she's like, yeah, but I'm not gonna tell you. There's gonna be no point in me telling you. First of all, it won't help you become a true detective. And second, you being the one that made a pact with a death god have to be the one to solve the mystery. If I say everything, you won't get it. So, I'll help you out. Are you ready? You better be. Huh? Ready for what? Lay it on! Ah, uh, here we go again. I hate this. I hate this game. I hate Heyman's game. I hate it. Carpet used it in two body. Okay. Nice. Go, go, go. Oh, my bad. My bad. I need to click that. That's right. Nice. I pressed X. Dang it. I knew the answer was either a string or a rope. That's right. There was evidence of a thin string being used at the scene of the crime. A sturdy and thin string like a fishing line 
must have been used to move the body. Oh, here he comes again. You really think a tiny string could move a whole corpse? I mean, if you use it the right way, it could have been. I mean, this person, this is another person holding the rope. I mean, with their strength, and if you put it at the right places, yes, you could move a body. There he is again! That rude and gloomy guy! That deduction is wrong. You're wrong? What could be wrong about it? Master sounded really confident just now. Listen, the nails in that corpse's leg pierced through his body and into the floor. But not the upper torso, it's only halfway. Which means the corpse was fixed in place. So how could the corpse be moved? Oh, true. If the corpse was stuck in place, it'd be impossible to move it. Indeed, it would be impossible. Laura, you think so too? So I was wrong the whole time? Jeez. Huh? The door! The truth is slipping further away! Of course it is. Because your deduction is wrong. <laughs> you people will never reach the truth. This is the end. I don't know if it's just me, but I'm just getting like serious Mothman vibes from him. Master, let's take him down first. Y yeah. Are we going to the arena or are we getting falling again? If we ever get out of this loading screen. Okay. Oh, that's right, the doll size were moved. Blood stains on the corpse. I'm gonna go with bloodstains on the corpse for this one. Your deduction is wrong. Do you have any proof that the corpse was moved? The corpse was fixed in place. It didn't move a millimeter. In fact, that corpse shows no sign it was ever moved. I did not want to get hit again. No, there was evidence the body had been moved. The upper and lower parts of the body bled out differently. The blood from the lower body flowed naturally outwards along the body's outline. But blood from the upper body looks like it flowed in a downward direction toward his hips. If the corpse was motionless on its back, there wouldn't be such unusual blood stains. In other words, it's safe to assume the body's position was different from when it was discovered. About it all? No, you're correct. The answer you've reached using the evidence is the truth. That 
Like, you, have you forgotten what Shin Gai says? The more defensive of mystery Phantom gets, the more close to the truth you are, because now they're like... They're super defensive now. Alara! There's no doubt a fine string was used in this case. Evidence at the crime scene indicate the corpse was moved. So all that remains is to answer, how was the pin body moved? That bizarre bloodstain holds the clue to all of this. The bloodstain? If the bloodstain is the clue for how the body could be moved, even while pinned... Master, we gotta chase after the door! It's getting further away! Oh my god! Hey, wait! You about to hate this poor boy. I won't let you! What position is put before it was moved? It was upside down, standing on its leg, upper body up. That's right! The corpse was sitting up at first. That's why all the wounds in the upper half of the body bled straight down. What was used to sit the body upright? A thin string, a wall, a wall. The string I mentioned before was thin but sturdy. It was all over the room, holding the body's upper half in place. Yep. That's the reason only the corpse's neck had marks on it. Yeah. Why was the corpse lying on its back at the time of discovery? It was retreated, it was... The culprit then retrieved all the string that kept the corpse in place from outside the door. I was about to say the other one, and but nah. And with nothing to support it, the top half of the corpse fell back to the floor, just like how it was discovered. It appears this locked room mystery will finally be solved. Huh? When did that happen? Maybe you're supposed to recreate the locked room in the same way the culprit did. Oh, uh, okay. Master, you know the answer, right? Let's finish this! Is it gonna make me do what? it, or is he gonna automatically do it? Recreate the all, you're gonna make me do it. Of course you are, cause why not? You gotta think like the culprit, master! Okay, think about how the culprit created the lock room and follow the same steps to complete the room. Blood place is suspicious. S inspect items following the sequence of events. Some of the items weren't used in the crime, so be careful. Okay. You have to recreate the culprit's locked room mystery! Okay, cuz... Yeah, we have Vent. So Vent was obviously the last. So, how many items are here? We have one, two, three, four, five... So all these items are used? Wait, hold on, let me reach out. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So the course was first. Maybe you got the order wrong. Stay calm. Collect your thoughts. First, you need to tie the fishing line down. Find a sturdy spot where it can be easily retrieved later. Wait, what do you mean? So that so that wasn't it? A certain sturdy spot? I would say the doll then. Maybe you got the order wrong. First, you need to tie the fishing Oh my down. god. 
Fine, the fucking vents. Jeez. Let me do this. I thought it was, you know. First, a knot was tied to a slit in the vent. After that, the fishing line was drawn away to another location. In terms of sequence, it'd probably be easier to start with things that are fixed in place. Fixed in place would be the doll. That's it! It passed through a doll's eye! And then the fishing line passed through the eye to somewhere else. Is this fixed in place? Hmm. Apartment doesn't want to save the painting. Maybe here. Let's 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 try it. Let's just see. No, there's no. You proved that yourself already. Okay, so that's not it. Um. So it doesn't need to be five items in total. But the desk moves, so that's important. Oh? So the marks on that doll's eye were made from the line passing through it. So what else? Right. The line was then passed around a certain point on the corpse. That was... The neck. Here, behind the neck. The line ends here to support it. Now, it's clear that the line passed through the vent, the doll's eye, and ended beneath the neck. Hang on. Why pull the line through the doll first? Can't you just start by pulling it from under the body? Well, you probably had to make it move a certain way, so that's probably why. To support the body's weight, the line needs to pass through the doll first. As it was fixed in place. Next, the fishing line. So, the game has already said that this was used somehow. So, I want to say we went back here. But this was obviously moved. I think you're getting close to completing the locked room mystery! Okay, it won't let me do that, so... There are three points with signs of wear from the line. That should tell you what happened next. Think it over one more time. Really? That counted against me? Now, to return the line to the vent. Okay. This kept the corpse's upper torso in place. The room has been completely prepared. So next... The culprit exited through the door and locked it with the key. And then... Where was the king thrown in from? The vent gap. The culprit took it home. No, this is the vent gap. The key was thrown through the gap in the vent. I mean, we already established it. I don't know why the game asked me twice. If the culprit managed to drop the key next to the corpse, the only thing left was to untie the line. Then... Yep, he just drops down. The corpse, which was supported only by the line, would fall face up on top of the key. That's how the culprit created the locked room. Hooray! You did it! That's my master! 
not turn complete. The bloodstains were strange. The length of the nails driven into the upper and lower body were different. The nails on the upper half didn't penetrate all the way through the body, but the nails on the lower half went all the way through and into the floor. That was how the lower half could be secured, while the upper half could still be moved around. That sure was tricky, but you managed to solve the mystery behind it! Oh my god. I wonder if I'll lose all my health for this one. Cause this one is being picky. Ugh. Looks like we finally made it to the treasure chest. Speaking of, don't you think that whoever worked the hardest should get to open it? <laughs> oh my god, I'm dying. Hold on. <laughs> ah! I don't know why I took I sucked in a press and for some reason it put me in a coughing fit. I didn't know what that was. Uh wait, she just tries to compliment herself every single time. She's like, um, who's the best looking? Me open. Who would a popular tip? Me open. Who worked the hardest? Me open. A witch is me, of course. A fish she line was used in the locked room mystery of the mansion study. This is probably another clue leading to the culprit. I'm not sure how we use it. Still, it must be used for something. Hold on to it for now. Now for the super complicated one. This one is... Oh. Let's solve the rest. Right! But before we do that, I'm gonna go to my abilities. Stand up by me when combined by sand by me, the reason definitely to assist the ability recovers even faster. I want you to yeah, to slow that down, yes. She would require us break two incorrect letters in the barrel. The number of letters cannot be less than what is required. Okay, so if it's like a three letter word, it's just like, nah, it's, we can't do that. No, I'm good with that. Uh, let's see. Uh, reduce the number of colored words in in the mystery phantom statements, making it easier to identify what to repel. Um, the thing is. I don't really use the assist that much. The only time I used that that last assist is because I got hit so much the first time around that I was like making sure that I wouldn't get hit this time. So let's just use this one. Um, 
Um, can I use all of them? Oh, I have six. That means I can use six more. Um, in reason to remove one incorrect solution key. Um, yeah, let's you. Yeah, I got hit a lot for my um stamina. I got hit mega hard because of that. They were just like, you need that to be jacked up. Um, oh man, that one took two. Because I don't really need anything for this one, so... This one's three. The reason to remove one incorrect solution key. Then the, oh, okay. So if there's only like one or two, then it's just it's not gonna come into effect. Okay, so I think I'm fine for now then with the skills I have. Uh stamina da 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 I'm not that far away from another rank. Okay. The third locked room was a murder that happened one month ago in the art gallery storage in Gima district. Yeah, and this one was the most complicated. I don't have a clue how they did this one. I want to say they used the vents under them, but maybe that's not the case. Pictures and paint were scattered all around the spot where a woman was boom killed. If you think you're up for it, then let's solve this thing! Are you going to the third locked room? Mr. Friend, actually trying to conceal the facts in which I cannot read. Uh, did we get stuck inside a locked room again? Yes, again. This the was the time. corpse that was discovered by that worshiper and the art gallery employee. At the time of discovery, the door was locked and the key was nailed to a doll inside the room. There's Aside no the way. Door, the only other entrance is the window. <laughs> There's no way they got inside that tiny ass window. <laughs> it opens just enough to fit a finger in. The frame itself is too small for even a child to squeeze through. How did the culprit vanish from here? Ah, oh, the guy. <laughs> Where did the oh the ultimate question with this one because I don't have a clue we're about to lose a lot of health with this one Where? okay so our options are the door the, I don't know why this is uh, an option uh, the window where's the body can't see the body Yeah, so I'm gonna have to say door again. If it's not, then I okay, it is. Here. Okay, good. Cause I was just like, I don't know. <laughs> I think the culprit could have only escaped from here, but. <laughs> They're all just staring at the door like, there's no way it's that simple. <laughs> Nothing's happening. Maybe you made a mistake, Master. No, that can't be right. It's impossible for anyone to squeeze through that window. 
they could have only gotten out through the door. I'm sure the culprit had the key and locked the door from the outside after committing the crime. The culprit just used a copy of the key? Would that really be considered a locked room mystery? Yeah, there's something complicated about this. There's no way it's that easy. Well, there are only two keys to the storage space, and the design makes them impossible to duplicate. I learned that thanks to you, Halara. One of the keys is always carried by that one employee. It was used when the body was first discovered, right? And the only other key was nailed through a doll onto a painting. Okay, so they must have used the key and put it on the doll somehow. And I can't remember if... Was string used... For this case... String for this case, mm. and plus, there's paintings are instead of dolls. So, it is a locked room mystery, right? Right? Oh, that's totally it. I see. I suppose you could call it that. Hey, Yuma, can you go check outside of that window? Oh, just like before. Before? Yes, we've already checked the window. Yeah, you made me do the same thing in the real world when we were investigating this place. I see. Then the answer has already been confirmed. Very well. This locked room is solved. Huh? Wait, did you already solve this mystery? You have it. Oh my god, that look she always gives me like, if you can't figure it out with your own damn logic. Um. How about you go and check outside the window? Then even you will see. Okay. Oh, it unlocked. Looks like you can go outside. All right, let's go see. Okay, I thought so. I was like, there is no way this simple trip is going to lead us outside. If we're going to teleport or something. Yeah, I was right. Hey, didn't you already check this in the real world? Why do it again? There's probably going to be something different now. Halara told me to check it twice. There must be an important clue outside that window. There must be something she saw from her other side that she was like, ah, got it. Hey! Maybe the culprit threw the key in through the window. And that way, the key would be found inside. But it was nailed to a doll. Your throwing skills better be on point to do that. Well, how about that theory? Is this the storage key? Which means... Because of the copper, what happened to the key? This one's a freebie! I'm sorry, I was like thinking to myself, I was like, but what if... But then I was like, no, that can't be because the employee walked over and unlocked it. Because of the culprit, what happened to the key? I was right. Just toss it in there, master. The culprit threw the key inside? Is that really the right answer? Did the culprit throw the key in from the window? No, there's no way. Master, hurry up and throw the key! No. 
No, I'm, I'm not pressing Y. No. That's, that's not the answer. That's the right answer? How? Didn't the culprit throw the key in there? That's why the key was found inside, right? No, the crime scene wouldn't end up like that if we threw it in. The key was nailed to a painting. That's not possible if you just throw it into the room. I'm so glad I trusted my instincts. I was like, no, there's no way it's that simple. Especially when it was on it was on a nail to a nail doll. Like there's there's no way. There's no way that you just simply threw it in. Oh right. Look, you over here trying to get me killed, you gummy. But if the culprit didn't throw it in there, how is the key left in the room? Hmm, if you can't nail the key after throwing it... Oh. Is he coming back? Ah, oh, damn, we fall anyway? You're back. She's so calm, but be concerned, please. The key vanished. The key is in my hand. Master! You got the doll and nail! I see. So you're supposed to recreate the locked room in the same way the culprit did. Try it out. Doing so will create a new path. Yeah, I'm gonna solve this. Good luck, Master! Recreate the lock room. Oh, okay, I thought it could move. You have to recreate the culprit's locked room mystery. First, do something about that doll. Wait, where where is the doll? 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 It was on the painting, right? But doll <laughs> oh okay there's I gotta like take the painting out got it all right first take the painting prop the painting up against the wall next to the door uh, nail the key to the painting nail the doll to the painting the culprit nailed the doll onto the painting Next, both were stood up at a certain location. Oh, okay, I think I see how this happened, but how'd you get it to slide down? Unless they pushed it through the window. The painting was stood up facing the window. Now the part with the pierced doll is uh, right next to the window. I get it. I get it. That's smart. That's super smart. After that... Oh, uh, that I took a hit for ah. Then put it up, and then walked out of the room. Then the culprit went outside. The door was locked, and they went to the other side of the storage room. I don't know what this is for. I can see the painting and doll through the window, but I can barely fit my hand through the gap. The doll's got a nail in it, but the problem is that key in your hand, Master. Yeah, the culprit took the key and then... Thrown it through the window, nailed the painting with the doll, hung the nail... 
hung on a nail stuck to the doll. Nailed the painting to the doll. Oh, because it had two nails in it. One for the head and one for the torso. Okay. The culprit nailed the key to the painting along with the doll from outside the window. Finally. You're very lucky that this painting didn't like fall off or like fall over or something like that. Because, yeah, people would either would have heard that or they probably would have understood the trick. What was the lesson the culprit did? Knock the painting toward the room, pulled the nail, stuff and did nothing else was necessary. No, it's the first one. I pushed the painting into the room. Click. It completes the locked room mystery. This is how the culprit did it. This person was thorough. They they did their research. They thought everything through. There's no way this was like some quick thinking or like an ambush like, oh my god, I gotta hurry up and do this. But they really thought it through. The only thing I need to understand is why was this victim hit upside the head where everyone else was strangled? It took some time, but you've reached the truth behind this locked room. Throwing the key through the window would be obvious. So to mislead us into thinking that was impossible, the key was nailed to a painting which was then pushed over. It's one thing for an amateur, but a detective wouldn't be tricked by this. Seriously, only amateurs would get fooled by... Yeah, but you're the one who suggested they threw it, so yeah, you're an amateur. Wait, you mean me? Yes. <laughs> you gonna kick it again? Hey, a treasure chest! Oh, who's gonna open this one? We should let the meanest one of us open it. The meanest one? <laughs> How would you decide that? Like this! You think you're mean too? Well, she does... <laughs> I'm the meanest! Oh my god. Because she is always insulting us all the time, so yeah, sure. Let's check out this treasure! Huh? What's wrong? It's empty! Huh? Why? After all we went through to solve this locked room. This must mean solving the third locked room mystery doesn't necessarily bring us any closer to the ultimate truth. Ah, <sighs> freaking bots in my chat. Hang on, guys. There we go. I remember back. Uh, I remember back then, just bot after bot after bot. Nope, no. I do not tolerate the the whole. Oh yeah, let me just 
promote myself. Let me put links in your chat. Or I'm a freaking ad disguise as a user. Nope. Nope. You get get out of my chat room. That's terrible. I suddenly feel so tired. Why oh, you feel tired? Oh, I mean, you did, you did do a lot. We can't call it quits. We gotta keep going. What's about to happen now? That's it for all the locked rooms. We make a pretty good team. Don't you think so? <sighs> well... What do we do from here? I mean, something should be happening soon. Okay, a whole curtain. All right. I really thought that. I see. Oh. The way forward is clear. It must be due to solving all of the locked room mysteries. I really thought that you know maybe all the trees would like turn into an inferno or something like that, or the ground would shake and this cave would appear. Some, you know, something. Not like a huge curtain that just come over and block my vision for two seconds. Now let's go. Right. You know these dolls remind me of Resident Evil Village. Again, I gotta ask, who's supposed to be the protagonist here? <laughs> he's still learning. Okay, Shimigami, he's learning from the ground up. Cut him some slack. Shimigami's secret, depending on Shimigami's emotional state. No oh my god, come on now. This place is creepy. Don't be afraid to roll the dice. You must keep pursuing the truth. Emotions must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through a perfect deduction. Isn't that right? Yes. What is the meaning of this? Let me out of here! Oh, do I have to choose? Let me out! I'll kill your ass in the name of God! I... I have nothing to do with the case. I'm not the culprit! Let me go! Wow, they're all here! So now we must pick out the true culprit of this case. The true culprit? Yuma, you solved all the locked room mysteries before you made it here. You should have all the clues and evidence you need to accuse the culprit. I think it's the priest. To be honest, when I first met you, I thought you were rather pitiful. Damn. But my opinion of you has improved. These mysteries have brought you closer to becoming a true detective. Now tie up all the loose ends and prove that I am not mistaken about you. <laughs> it's gonna really suck if With I make a your mistake. Logic, anything is possible. All right, I'll try. Whoa! Somebody's guilty. Yes. My heart's pounding. Yes. Oh, somebody's guilty. Who's the culprit? Figure it out and hit him with a dramatic finger point. <laughs> Make the right choice and you reveal the truth. Oh wait, is that is that it? That's all of it? Okay, so... I'll be back. I'll be back in a minute. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna quick bathroom break. Quick bathroom break and I'll be right back, okay?
Alright. Yeah, I was I'm drinking too much water today. Just. I keep having to go to the bathroom. My god. But, uh. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the priest. I'm not the nail man! I'm not the culprit! I, uh, I'm not the nail man! How can I be the nail man? Okay, so it can't be him. Because he said he's simply following, and because he doesn't work at the church, he doesn't have access to insert the string. Even though he's thin, he, it can't be him. Uh, uh, I'm not the nail man. He's obvious. He, he's too thick. He's too thickums to, to do the things that we've seen by far. I, I'm not the culprit. And then it can't be I'm her. The nail man. Because first I suspected because she had uh, a broken arm, and I was thinking to myself like, is there any instance that they would be like injured or something like that? And no. Um, so she really could have just broken her arm in, um, and and uh, was a death metal choir <laughs> with the bass. Um, so even though she's slender too, that this this qualifier. So the only person it could be I, I'm not the is culprit. this motherfucker. It has to be you. The culprit is you, father. Wh what? That's an absolutely ridiculous thing to say. Yeah, the fact that you showed up, it means I'm right. Him again? Why won't he just give up? Okay, and this one I did a lot better because he, the, the priest was second on my list. He was second. He wasn't, for, uh, he wasn't fourth like Zilch, so I was, I was uh, way closer with the answer than I was with the last case. You're saying the priest, a man of the cloth, is the culprit. That's impossible. How dare you spew such nonsense. Right! Do not make baseless accusations. The culprit has to be someone else. Yuma, can I leave this to you? It's not a baseless accusation. You're the only one who could possibly be the culprit. Master, you're acting like a real detective. Go on and boom kill him. <laughs> Go on and boom kill him. Yo, yep, about to do a transformation. Oh my god. What is this? What's with that hair? It's like a huge question mark. I wonder what this thing is in the static. It's definitely a symbol or a, I know it's like the skull, but why is it always there? Oh look. Now they double team in on me. Okay. Uh persons access the incinerator. Vent at the study. I think it's gonna be this for now. I'm a man of the cloth. Don't do it like this. It's total blast. I'm not the man. That's it. The first one just go for the body. The mailman is the worshiper. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. We just have to find a way to prove it. Okay, so it's the other one. I'm a man of the cloth. Don't eat like this. It's 
total blessing! I am not the man! That's it! The first one to discover the body. The mailman is the worshipper! This is the truth! The rope ladder used in the clock tower's locked room was found in the incinerator, mm -hmm. which only clergy can access. The worshipper may be a regular churchgoer, but he's no clergy member. So he's no longer a suspect. Yep. Shut up! Shut up! Ridiculous! Uh, burnt rope remains. Victim's cause of death. Thin person. It's either this or this. Let's go with thin person first. Member of the church is the culprit? Even so, I am not the culprit! There are others working for the church. Yes, there's the servant! The servant must be the nail man! The servant was able to commit the crimes! No, he's too, he's too thick. He's too Mr. Thickums. Climbing up to the underground casino's window with only nails for footing would require considerable agility. Judging by the size of the window, there's no way someone of his size could have committed the crime. Oh, no, no! That's absolute lies! Uh, the nun must be the culprit! Victims were all strangled, but the case plus it was never. Yeah, I feel like it's gonna be that. Yeah, I feel like it's gonna be this. He's gonna know something. She's thin and also works at the church. The nun was absolutely able to commit the crimes. It's not like she's afraid of heights. She used the nails to climb! And you know she's always saying, I'll kill your ass in the name of God! It's clear she's the root of the soul. She's at the name of though, I can prove it. Wait. Um, yeah, it's gotta be like a comment that he's saying. None must be the culprit. She's thin and also works at the church. The nun was absolutely able to commit the crimes. It's not like she's afraid of heights. Okay, it wasn't it. Alright. I never heard anything but the nun being a fairy heights. I don't think that statement is wrong. Did she not have any other secret features that uh, chances to spike info? Uh. Her distinctive features. The nun must be the uh. Yeah, it can't be. E it can't be easier than these two. and also works at the church. The nun was absolutely able to commit the crimes. It's not like she's afraid of heights. She used the nails to climb. Oh you wait, that was always... it. How would, how would he know I'll that? Kill your ass in the name of God. Okay. It's clear she's the ruthless soul. I, I get it. I know. I know where I fucked up. Okay. I I know it. I know it now. Mm -hmm. 
It's when he says the nail thing, like, that's not publicized. The nun must be the culprit. She's thin and also works at the church. The nun was absolutely able to commit the crimes. It's not like she's afraid of heights. She used the nails to climb. How do you know that? What? What? So, yeah, because she, she has a broken arm, the mansion, she used the nails to climb, she couldn't have because she has a broken arm, it's her dominant arm. The mansion floor plan and a photo of the locked room as they both received from Clara. A fishing line was used, the placement was continued full use of their arm. Okay, so maybe it's this. The nun must be. I don't think I'm wrong about the statement. I think I'm using the wrong And also works at the church. The nun was absolutely able to commit the crimes. It's not like she's afraid of heights. She used the nails to climb. What in the what is it? Oh my god, this is racking my brain. I feel like I have the wrong keys for this round. The numbers. You can repeat that. Okay, so that's not the statement, but something else really bothers me. The key was thrown in, right? But the numbers. What does that mean? The nun must be there. Be the culprit. She's thin and also works at the church. The nun was absolutely able to commit the crimes. I'm I'm Safe. I'm gonna use every key to like get it. Like I feel like it's one of these two. There's the no way. She's thin and also works at the church. I'm getting really the pissed nun off. Was absolutely able to commit the crimes. There, God damn. <laughs> Picky, picky, picky. The mansion study's locked room. The culprit tossed the key behind the corpse with perfect aim. Like, I'm wondering, like, I know I'm right. But the game was just being picky about which piece of knowledge it wants at this time. It was, it was pissing me off. With her dominant hand injured, the nun couldn't have done that. That Which other key could have worked too. It's not the churchgoer, the servants, or the nun. There's only one option left. Father, it's you. You are the nail man. <laughs> hey, say something quick. Otherwise, they'll pin me as the culprit. Um, well, but why are you defending him so hard? Uh, you're useless. Oh, damn. I am a priest in service to God. <laughs> Jeez. Yep, the I nail man. Am not the nail man. Really? You're really looking like a nail man right now. <laughs> what god would make you this ugly? Wow. 
All your proof is nothing but fantasy! You don't have a single piece of hard evidence! A hard evidence? But Master, you do! It's easy! Based on the facts, the priest must be the culprit. The decisive evidence that proves it is... Uh... I don't know. What do I do? What do I do? You are not good under pressure, but neither am I. What? A detective must always prioritize solving a case. Listen, a detective isn't an arbiter of justice. Unraveling a case is top priority, even with questionable methods. The thing is, are we never going to get to the part where that lady, the last lady, got hit upside the head? Are we never going to get there? Is that never going to be explained? In short, you must get them to confess. Use everything in your arsenal, even if it requires bluffing. Use everything? Don't hesitate to use anything that might give you an advantage. Emotions must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through a perfect deduction. Always remember that. A bluff? In other words, I should just claim I have solid evidence. But what could I use as a bluff? Really, do we really need another loading screen? I bet money we're about to get that tutorial screen. That is how you use bluff. It's super effective. That's with your stupid fantasy. Uh, a report concerning Cutter and her case. Suspicious footprints. Past murders. I'm gonna save this one. Everything you say is nothing but a fantasy. Do you have any proof that I'm a culprit? Did you find my fingerprints? Did you find my blood? Of course, there's no evidence. Ah, uh, I thought that might have been it. My bad. Come on. Who's that kid? Enough with your stupid fantasies. Oh jeez. Everything you say is nothing but a fantasy. Oh jeez. <laughs> Do you have any proof? Did you find my fingerprints? Did you find my blood? Of course there's no evidence! Because I'm not the culprit! Okay, it's definitely that last one. That's true. I guess I don't have any artist proofs the priest is the culprit, but... Yeah, that's right! Love if you have to. Even the bluff, huh? If I use that one thing, then maybe. Okay, so it's not the past murders. Um, report concerns for murder case. I know it's perhaps in place of a doll. Okay, how about this? Enough with your stupid fantasies! Everything you say is nothing but a fantasy! Do you have any proof that I am open? Did you find my fingerprints? Did you find my blood? Of course there's no evidence! There we go. Use your footprints. You left clear evidence at the clock tower's crime scene. There were footprints left under the window in the mud. When we inspected them, we found out... 
They perfectly match your footprints. Impossible! I already burned those shoes in the incinerator! Yeah! <laughs> gotcha, bitch. <laughs> you gave yourself away. Yeah, he's like, I already burned those. Oh shit! I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Maybe not the smartest thing to say. Look at him, he's like, aww. Acted justice in the name of God. Sure. Looks like it worked. Good job, you. Oh, that's all it took. I thought he would have fought more. But don't Thanks. we have to get the other set, dude? Kanai Ward is rotten to the core. To save it, someone had to get their hands dirty. Those slain. Evil incarnate that harm others. That's why the people ask the mailman to kill them. Evil must be punished. And so I strangled them, made them suffer. All I did was slay evil. Is he gone gone? If someone hates somebody bad enough, they give that name to the nail man. And this priest went around killing those people as the nail man. The urban legend offered targets for murder. The priest is supposed to be the voice of God, but he went around killing people because someone wanted them dead. What is awesome! It's terrible. It's insane to think that he'd kill people for a reason like that. In his own twisted way, he thought he was doing good. That could be said about all murders. Insane people kill for insane reasons. Anyway, you did it, Yuma. My expectations of you weren't wrong after all. I feel like this isn't the end because, you know, his soul didn't appear and we haven't slashed it yet. I feel like there's more that's about to happen. Is it finally over? Huh, nothing's happening. But last time... Yeah, the soul of the true culprit who created this mystery labyrinth should appear. And since it didn't... You didn't, you didn't solve everything. It looks like this isn't over yet. Huh? It's not over? There are still mysteries related to the Nail Man killings within this mystery labyrinth. But we solved all of the locked rooms and discovered the true identity of the Nail Man. Was I wrong? But the, the priest even confessed to it. Calm down, Nima. There's no need to panic. Yeah, he's, he's having a meltdown. If the Nail Man's identity is exposed, and all mysteries are yet to be solved, then most likely someone else's agenda is involved in this string of killings. Someone else's agenda? Meaning the Nail Man didn't work alone. Ooh, somebody, he had an accomplice. You mean there's another culprit? But... But, uh, it's probably Seth, because he was defending him, like, really, really hard, and he just up and vanished. Usually we defeat the person that, um, that's intercepting, but he didn't do that. He just kind of slipped away. Yuma, if you consider yourself to be a detective, you must see the truth through to the very end. No mystery concludes with a dead end. There is nothing we detectives cannot solve. Oh. All right. We have to review these killings from a different perspective. Oh. 
out of the four locked rooms. If any of them were hiding a mysterious secret, it would be the room that's obviously different from the others. Different? Master, I get the feeling you want my help. Isn't that right? That's what you want, right? Huh? Oh, fine. <laughs> I can't say no to you, and you're so helpless like that. Wait, he did not say anything. Okay, Master, lay it all out. Uh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. Sorry. Um. Abilities. <laughs> We're really gonna need that other power. That, um, that one that takes away a key. Uh, and the reason Deathman removed one incorrect. The number of sledges. Okay, yeah. We're, 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 we're taking this one with us. Um. Yeah, because this will be definitely be useful later. I was gonna save some of my SP, but that nah. After that last one, that was some bullshit. All right, guys. Um, but look at things. I have ran out of time. I was hoping to get through this labyrinth today. But that doesn't look like it's going to be the case. So, <laughs> thanks for uh, hanging out with us with, with this case. I really think it's Seth because we didn't defeat Seth. Seth just kind of, kind of backed up into the shadows, and he really wanted to like hurry up and just speed this whole thing along. Like he was personally trying to cover up everything. So it uh, could be Seth. Or it could be somebody else. I don't think it's the other churchgoers because I think they just have their own thing going on. They had, they really were shocked. Um, if, but if it's not Seth, if it's not Seth, and it's the little boy, oh my God, I'm going to lose my mind <laughs> because I put the little boy in this for like. Shits and giggles. <laughs> but if he really is involved in this somehow, oh my god. <laughs> I would lose I would lose it. I would go crazy. But we're not gonna discover that until uh the next stream, which I'm going to say for now would probably be Wednesday. Around the same time as we've been doing before. So uh keep your eyes peeled for that. And with that um, I'll see you guys all next time. Bye. See you later.